Leo, I wanted to start out on a somber topic. We've got multiple somber topics. We do and that's multiple. a bad omen when you drop your phone. Well, I dropped it because, you know, uh, I'm scared. I'm not in a good place right now. We experienced something gnarly. We did. We absolutely did. But I wanted to start off on something I, I know you're going to love. Mm. Uh, the Memphis body cam footage. Oh, yeah. That's gnarly, dude. It was inexcusable. Those guys are criminals. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I really grieve for the family of the victim. They seem super sweet, good Christian people. It was awful. Nothing good happened there at all. And um, may he rest in peace, that guy. May he rest in peace. But I couldn't help, and I, uh, you know. Yes? I couldn't help fantasize. And I don't know if this makes me a bad person. Okay. I couldn't help but fantasizing about those five black men doing what they did to Fan Jerry. Oh, dude. Whenever I think about Fan Jerry getting his ass beat by a bunch of cops, it makes my day. I remember when it, it was birthed, this thought. We were at UCLA. It was the Fight Club video. And those cops, there was a big black man there, in fact, because all five cops were black, right, that did this? All of them. Which is, they were a part of the elite Scorpion unit. Really? Yes. The Scorpion unit, I picture them just beating the crap out of Fan Jerry. Him living, of course, in the fantasy. Or at least yes. I have to say that right now so people don't hate me. There was a giant black man that was uh, with a couple of other, other cops, and uh, Fan Jerry was bantering back and forth. And I looked over at Danny and I said, one of these guys just started wailing on Fan Jerry. <laughs> Fan Jerry, I imagine he has the perfect face that cops hate. <laughs> Absolutely. What is it? Is it? It's it's of a slightly overweight lesbian woman. Yeah, that, yeah. That would cancel them online. That would uh-huh. for sure not be pro cop. Exactly. Yeah. And the worst part about it, Leo, is the cops. Yeah, they hate the kids at Berkeley. They hate the gender study students. But they know they're going to hate them, and it's almost expected that these kids and women and they them's are going to be pieces of crap. Hmm. But Jerry served. Jerry served. And graduated from the Marines mm. and now betrayed them with his lesbian haircut <laughs> and his disrespect for authority. A hundred percent, dude. And I just fantasize about, because I don't, did you watch and listen to the body cam footage? I watched some of it and then I, I didn't finish it, to be honest. I, I watched until they were pepper spraying him and like kicking him in the face and shit on the ground. Dude, I, I, it was awful. I mean, there was banter like, damn, I hit that motherfucker with like three haymakers and he wasn't going down. It was Hey, step aside. I'm going to hit him with the pepper spray again. And then afterwards, it was like their dialogue was as if they just gang banged mm. a hot chick and they were reminiscing blow by blow what happened as the sun rose with cracked beers. That's awful. Mm. But it'd be funny if it happened to Jerry. Oh, dude. and they're like, oh, yeah, that, that motherfucker, that fat ass. I pulled him out of his Corolla and I stomped his head. in. yeah, then I came in with the taser. <laughs> I kicked out his front teeth, but they were already loose because he, goddamn, that motherfucker must dip so much. Yes. He dips way too much. He's an unhealthy motherfucker. And can we show the picture of, can we show a picture of Fan Jerry, Austin, if you don't mind? And I just want people to know that uh, mostly Fan Jerry is white. Mm. And I think it's high time for police violence by black cops against a white man. That's what I'm saying. Does anybody disagree with me? I... I would, I think absolutely just to even the score, kind of like yeah. an eye for an eye. I mean, yeah. you know, like in the in the Bible, I pr- I'm pretty sure it says if your blood is shed, you shall shed blood. What what does it say? Do you know? Do you know that? You know, it says like bl- eye for an eye basically in the Bible, right? Yeah. It does yeah. say Thank eye you, for Dino. an eye. Thank you, Dino. Thanks, Dino. If it says eye for an eye. So look, if the guy looks like Van Jerry and he gets his ass beat by like five, six black ops, I'm going to pick it again i'm going to pick it for the cops yeah. i'm going to be so adamant that they were okay and that this was not a crime and that this guy deserved it yeah i mean i think that it would be a video we could do for sure absolutely uh, yeah maybe we could plant a lot of here's the game let's back up a little bit mm-hmm. we take fan jerry out to slater 50 50s oh, yes. like hey buddy just for old time's sake we're going to slater 50 50s fan jerry's favorite restaurant i want the peanut butter burger but no jelly <laughs> i'm paying buddy 
Oh, yeah. does he does he say that as a little takes, joke? He as take, a little joke to the waitress. Little joke to the waiter every who's, goddamn who's like time. a seven. Yeah. Just some sort of dumpy girl who has yeah. a weird tattoo on her wrist. Yeah. I'll take the peanut butter or jelly burger. Mine is the jelly. Ha ha ha. She rolls her eyes, forces herself to laugh for the sake of laugh for the sake of her tip. Mm -hmm. She walks away. We tell Jerry, like, hey, buddy, whatever you want to drink tonight, whatever you want to eat, we're paying. He starts slamming Mike's hard lemonades. <laughs> Maybe they don't have him available there, so he smuggles in a backpack full of tall cans. He bought a 7-Eleven. When he goes to the bathroom, we open one of the tall cans. We drop a roofie in there. Oh, I love it. We drop a roofie. Mm -hmm. We sprinkle, Leo, a little angel dust on that peanut butter and jelly burger. Ooh, make him nice and violent. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And then while the dinner is going on, we have Rat Dick Ralph plant Fan Jerry's car with Class A, albeit low-quality, narcotics. Perfect. We put him out in the car. Yeah, I mean, you already know he has a tendency to drive under the influence. He's done it before, yeah. The angel dust in the roofies is going to make him swerve. Oh, big time. And disobey stoplights. And of course, me and you could make a, you know, like a, we could play, you know, very worried patrons, very worried people that witnessed him leave mm -hmm. Slater 50-50s, and he didn't look too good. Oh, he didn't. He shouldn't be getting into a car. Hello, we hello. this yeah. is the San, this, where does he live now? Uh, he's going to go to West San Francisco. Covina. San, yeah. Hello, this is the West Covina Police Department. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm really worried. I'm a concerned citizen right yes. now. I'm at Slater 5050s um, in uh, in West Covina. And um, unfortunately, there's this very, very, um, he looks like a lesbian, an overweight lesbian, but he's a male and his name is Fan Jerry. He does have yeah. some social is he, media. Is he, does he have gender dysphoria? Is he going to commit suicide? What do you need? Uh, no, no, that's not exactly it. I think he's he's all hopped up on some angel tusks and he's <laughs> he said some violent things. And I think I think he's going to go commit a crime right now. And I'm pretty sure he has narcotics. In okay, his car. We're going to send some officers. Over. What is his general attitude toward the police? Oh, he hates them. He hates, he hates the, the police. Yeah, yeah. He, okay. has a, he has a Twitter that is strictly meant to. It's called Hate the Blue, and he just goes out there and writes gnarly texts. Marcus, Kevin, can you handle this? Oh, we gonna fuck this honky up. <laughs> and then that's, um, that's it. Dude, that's it. And then they come. Oh, and then they. The then Jerry is gonna get, guys, we can't say this enough. We, right now, are demanding racial healing in this country in the form of five black officers attacking Fan Jerry during a routine traffic stop. Let's do it. I, we, let's, let's do it me and you are gonna make it happen we're gonna make it happen and look we're gonna make sure he doesn't get killed but you know what i mean I mean, look but go a little hard you know what i mean like at least you could stomp on him a little bit i mean yeah i would don't, don't completely concuss him well no he's gonna get concussed but yeah. don't stomp on his head till he passes out yeah more just can have fun with it you know mm -hmm. what i mean yeah some groin kicks yeah just and bring bring some smelling salt there we go so, so between wake concussions him up, yeah. wake him up Make sure he can say the ABCs up to D. Exactly. And then throw another haymaker at his jaw. Bam. Another That'd smelling salt, bring him up again. Yeah, and you can definitely just fucking, that Toyota turd cell he has, fucking light that thing on fire, dude. Let's do it. Yeah. Hey, I mean, there people are burning cars in Portland, all over the country. Just, just burn his, too. We know the playbook here. Those cops down in Memphis should not have been um, committing police brutality. They should have been up in Palo Alto with us this weekend. Oh, God. Uh, looking into a uh, potential sex crime. Guys, this is almost unbelievable. You're going to think <sighs> we're making this up. Yeah. Like the entire thing we just talked about was made up, but we're not. Yeah, guys, listen. And uh, this should come with a trigger warning, right? If you've been... It's a content warning now, Leo. You should yeah. have learned that at Stanford. Trigger warning is considered it's, offensive now. I'm sorry. Content warning? Yep. It's, that is now a banned phrase in super woke circles. Trigger, You huh? can't say... Trigger warning is not politically Who correct does that anymore. offend? It's tri it, victims of violence. It has violent Im imagery. And then also, uh, yeah, that, that's basically it. It might... Just a trigger warning might trigger people. So it's more politically correct to say content warning. And you're on thin ice now for the rest of the podcast, God buddy. Damn it. Continue. Sorry for saying trigger yeah. on the record. Um, so this, what we're about to show you should come with a content warning because if you've been sexually assaulted at all, just know that this might make you depressed for the rest of the day. So you might not want to listen to this part of the, the broadcast. And let's set it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Nico after a fantastic two video shoot yep. up in Palo Alto this weekend, Palo Alto, we hit Stanford. Mm -hmm. 
maybe going to be one of the top three videos we've ever done. You think that's fair? I would say that's fair. There was you just you were you were fucking just nonstop on that shoe. You wanted to keep going, and I mean, even when we got a good amount of beautiful content, you wanted to get one more last piece. Uh, you were beautiful on that shoe too, buddy. It was unbelievable. And I'm just talking dude. about your ass. <laughs> it looked really good in that marching band uniform. Uh, no, Stanford is, uh, it was, it was meant, it's, it's like that campus was meant for me and Danny to peruse around. Wasn't it like, oh, God damn, those re reactions from people, but just the lack of security. Dude, oh, yeah. It was fantastic. Yeah. I mean, we own Stanford. We that's, own Stanford. That's, yeah. We own Stanford. It's our place now. Yeah. And um, we did, and it was a masterpiece of a video. Yeah, yeah. We went, uh, you know, somewhere else in San Francisco that'll be disclosed at a later time. Yes. But after the shoots, after, after I had just stormed out into a sporting event at Stanford and dressed up like a tree with a sign. This, of course, has a backstory. I wasn't mm -hmm. just doing it to be obnoxious. After all that, I kept saying to Leo, let's go home. Let's smoke the fuck up in the evening. We're partying tonight a little bit. Mm -hmm. Leo and I, responsible adults with self-control, we hit a little bit of the ganji. Mm -hmm. the <laughs> but Felt Nico, good. well, mm -hmm. Nico... Nico got drunk on the shoot that day, first of all. He did. And we asked him to do that because we needed some entertainment. It's, it's the ace in the hole that we have, you know? Always. Mm -hmm. Always. Always. You know, you fucking, the, the dealer, the dealer is showing a 10. And in this case, that means that Leo and I have been filming for three days. We're feeling kind of sick. We're on low sleep. One of the cameras is broken. Our mics are screwed up. It's raining out. Oh, my God. That's the dealer having a 10. But we have an ace that comes out. That's right. And it makes our king 21. And we beat whatever sorry face card the dealer flips next. Yep. Nico's drunk. He is hilarious. That part's okay. But later on that night when we're in the hotel hanging out with two fans. Everett and Chris, shout out. Good guys. Gentlemen, complete mm -hmm. gentlemen. They helped us out. They were awesome. Really hardcore fans. Nico was feeling himself because he just started a shoot. We finished a two-day shoot or a three-day shoot, actually, two-video shoot, mm -hmm. which means he has next weekend off. We're celebrating in the lobby of our hotel. Pretty nice hotel. Well, Neeks decides to go to a nearby bar to keep the party going. Oh, yeah. After Leandro and I decide to retire... Yes. Nico's getting neeksy, goes to a nearby par a nearby bar. We're a little worried about him in general, you know, whenever he, he wanders off alone. He's small. Yeah. When he's drinking, he he can't take care of himself. I would say, yeah, he can't. He can't. He, mm -hmm. he, he, he when he is intoxicated, his IQ it really doesn't have a bottom. <laughs> I mean, there are times when his IQ is he, like a zero when he's drunk. <laughs> and this was one of these times. I mean, undoubtedly, actually. It took a lot of alcohol. The The, uh, the fans brought uh, Happy Dads and Nico. I, I would say Nico had at least 14 drinks. After drinking night. about eight standard drinks right. in San Francisco, right. has 14 drinks with the fans, then goes to a bar. Mm -hmm. We have no idea what's happening. We call Nico, or rather Nico calls us, says something incoherent, and hangs up. Mm -hmm. We, thank God... Call Nico back. He talks to us for a couple of seconds, then puts his phone in his pocket, but doesn't turn it off. Correct. What follows is audio of him being walked back to our hotel by, we think, a bartender at this bar. It starts off jolly and it gets really serious really quickly. Let it roll, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Nico's throwing up right now. Dude. Okay, hold on. Stand up. This no way this is real. It's oxygen. It's oxygen back. It's oxygen back. Don't go so far. This guy over. talking to Nico. Be nice and easy. Be nice and easy. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Nico's barfing, guys. Yeah, okay, he starts talking shit in Nico's voice. Yeah. 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 The guys think Nico's talking shit to him. Remember, yeah. you want to go down the fucking alley? What? Where we wouldn't be seen by cops? Yeah. Yeah, now we're on the pop pulls us over. Now I have to fucking try and figure out a goddamn fucking story. This guy's shady, never mind. So, I want you to repeat after me. We are gay lovers, okay? What? It's the only way we're gonna get out of this. I have a shitload of drugs on me right now. What? Dude, we gotta fucking find these. Okay. Don't worry about it. You feeling a little better? A little bit? I'll spit. 
Spit. Dude, he's about to get fucking raped by this guy. Dude, he's maybe. I think he just put the phone in his pocket. Breathe. Can you breathe right now? Can you breathe three times? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. So we get up right there. We scramble downstairs. <clears throat> we find Neeks in the lobby. Thankfully, from the time that call happened to the time he's in the lobby, in our sight, safe, maybe two to three minutes. Mm -hmm. So clearly he didn't get raped. Right. Physically, he's fine. He doesn't have his pants ripped. And Nico, if you tried to rape him, he would do jujitsu. That much instinct would kick in. So mm -hmm. there would have been signs of a scuffle. He's in relatively decent spirits. We determined he didn't get raped. But let's call him up right now. Let's hear it from his mouth. The guy who was almost another statistic. You got Nico's number, Austin? Uh, yeah. I, I thought we were calling Mudflat first. So let me just type it in real quick. No, yeah. Type in Nico's. Nico Leo. He could have been the next Natalie Holloway. He could have been the next girl at the Stanford University campus who got raped by Brock Turner. You're like, absolutely right, man. He could have been one, though. But you know they would never share a story like this. Mm -mm. One, because the mainstream media wants to keep me and you down. Of course. But number two, because, I mean, Nico getting raped by a fat barroom queen, it's just not going to drive clicks. Guys, when he said that, repeat after me, we are gay lovers, I mean... <clears throat> that seemed like a man that he was trying to will that into existence. Oh yeah. He was trying to will that into existence. Can you turn the audio down on the on the phone a little bit, Austin, if that's possible? I muted it on the on the video. Hello? Nico Villacreses? Yes, sir. Nico, you've had um, over 24 hours now. Is your tushy still feeling like it didn't get violated? Um it still feels good. I, I don't think anything happened. Uh, no snoreness, soreness, but I did have to uh, think long and hard about the uh, what could have happened. You know, oh, good. It's a lesson. Leo and I thought a lot about what could have happened too, and one of those scenarios ended with you dismembered in this guy's cramped apartment, mm -hmm. and your wee wee, your little wee wee, on his mantel place in a jar. So. <laughs> I mean, uh, it must have been something special if you had it on a jar, right? But, I mean, it, it would almost be, Leo and I would, of course, be devastated. Yeah, but also, but. I mean, if we walked into an apartment and your wee-wee was just bobbing up and down slowly. <laughs> in embalming fluid. Oh, my in God. In a jar. Oh, my God, Leo. Yeah, no, I mean, look, uh, Neeks, we would laugh, but it would be like, we would know that you'd be laughing in heaven. Yeah. You know? Oh, no really? <laughs> Yeah, maybe, and maybe God would give you a new wee wee up there. And also, yeah, exactly. But and also, you know where the wee wee would be right here on this table on the Leo and Danny show. We Leo, and Nico, right we'd here. buy it at auction. It'd we be would, right here. We would buy. It'd be really expensive. Because oh yeah. It would be like buying one of the brains that, or one of the like the the nipple belts that Ed Gain made in Wisconsin. Exactly. No, really no doubt. No doubt that no doubt the Danny Mullen regime would uh, all the rich fans, which there are some, would uh, would outbid us for a while. But we would eventually. <laughs> We would get the wee wee. No, the fans, dude. So I, in my new main channel video this week, I gave a really quick shout out for Evan's Barbershop and said people leave a Yelp review. Oh, shit. You get like hundreds of five star reviews. Really? Dude, the people came out. The fans came out for Barbershop Evan. I appreciate you guys. That's fucking dope. He's so oh, high, yeah. dude. That's dope. He's That's gonna so get him a lot of business. But what I'm saying right now, Nico, is that the fans will help us crowdfund your wee wee if it's in a jar. Yeah. Can you pull up Rasputin's wee wee? Yeah, let's look at this thing. There's a, a, a what Rasputin was a you you must, you know who he is i know he's a beer take a stab take he's a, stab. a, not a beer dude, take a, a stab Leo. all right he, well a mystic isn't a job description i guess it can be dude look at that thing dude can i even show this uh oh, probably prob uh no it People, looks like a dick dude well it is a dick it's ross Bean's alleged dick allegedly dick. that's his penis yeah that he what if we had Nico's wee wee? So people, we can't probably show this, but you can Google Rasputin's penis yourself. It's about seven inches thick and about ten inches long. Yeah. What, if, Nico? Would you be upset if your wee wee was side by side with Rasputin's? That'd be kind of fucked up, dude. Yeah, it wouldn't be. Good. <clears throat> just to kind of, uh, just to kind of, uh, fit, you know, like kind of cross a few things off the list. Did you take any rape kit or anything? Did you go to a local hospital and get a rape kit? Um. Nope. Not yet. I don't know if I should be doing that. I know it takes HIV can take somewhere between like a year to set in at some point. No way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it takes Jesus. a while. Nico, did you take a rape shower? When I got home, yes. 
Was that, Good. I mean, did you think of it as a rape shower when you took it? I did feel a sense of emotion come over me as I was like feeling my body, making sure like, you know, my asshole was still the same every time I clean it. And there was a uh-huh. moment of hesitancy when I was uh, going to apply soap down there. But everything yeah. was perfect. Oh, God. You think if that man did bend you over in that alley he was trying to get you into mm-hmm. and he did take you up behind, would it have been well kept? You shave your ass, Nico. Would there have been dingleberries? Did oh, you shit earlier that day? What would he have encountered? Nico, are you curious about this too? I'm very curious. What would he have encountered, Nigs? Smelly. I think I took a couple of shits and there were some dingleberries there. Didn't shower oh. that day. So it would have been. Wait, uh, you, you, didn't, you didn't shower that night? No. What a dirty little bastard you are. <laughs> there you go. We had all the time there in the world. We had, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, we had a great hotel room, too. But, um, okay, I, just to, this is, this is for me, but when you were throwing up, it wasn't because he had put his cock down your throat or anything, right? I mean, there's oh no way God, that he face dude, fucked I you. Nico, did he face fuck you? Did dude, you get face fuck? Face fuck? Oh, well, I hope not, dude. My everything, nothing hurts. Okay, okay, good. That's dude. good. Nice. Nick's, you might have remembered, you came back into the lobby, and we were so relieved to see you because we really, when we were on the phone with you, we had we wanted to come find you once we heard this guy say, repeat after me, we're gay lovers. We didn't know where to look. Right. So it was a huge relief when you just wandered into the lobby. You were convinced that everybody hated you in the lobby, which wasn't the case. Yeah. I showed the nighttime lobby man, the video. He was a Mexican guy. <laughs> he first thought that we were being gay. Yeah, I pulled it up because I showed him the video. And yeah. also, can you go back to the video and show Leo's pose here? It looks slightly gay. You it's, know what I mean? It's Leo and I are on, we have two queen beds mm-hmm. where I'm, he looks like he's looking longingly into my eyes before having a romantic yeah. encounter with me. Yeah. It's And so I show this to the guy at the front desk. He's like, shit, fool, I don't want to watch this shit. <laughs> he uh, literally says it. He goes, he's like, man, no, nah, no, nah, I don't want to see that, man. And we're like, no, 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 listen, listen. He's like, no, nah, do I? I got. I don't want to watch this, man. Like, How is this going to end? <laughs> you going to bend this big Italian motherfucker over, bro? Dude, he wasn't happy that there was some gay shit going on. Cause it, but then he was, so he calls me back after, too, and tells me that he, he felt that the right thing to do after no, listening. No, 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 what happened was this, is uh, he was saying that the whole time. And I was like, no, dude, keep watching the video. Right. I, I was showing it to him in person behind the front desk. Right. And he's like, no, Holmes, I don't want to watch this shit. <laughs> and then finally, it gets to the part where the guy's like, repeat after me. Yeah. We're gay lovers. And then he just snaps into attention. And then his accent kind of goes away. He stops right. being, he's just like, oh, I got to call the cops about this. This is serious, yeah. man. Yeah, just exactly. give me your email address. He, he oh. realized that we weren't pulling a gay prank on him. Right. And uh, there was actually going to be a real life, honest to God, gay rape. It was seriously. And look, he did his job very, very well. But the cops, it was a female cop. I talked to her on the phone. Uh, Neeks was already, he was, he couldn't have talked to her. He couldn't communicate with someone on the phone. Neeks, you couldn't communicate with a woman on the phone at that point, right? Would you say? To no one. Yeah, I to no one, right? To anybody. Because you wouldn't, yeah, you, you couldn't. couldn't, you could barely, you don't even remember, you do not remember this man at all, right? The, the man There's that walked no. you home? No. Uh, Nico, I said earlier that your IQ was zero that night. I don't know what IQ it takes to to physically move one leg and then put the other leg in front of that leg and then do it again. Mm-hmm. That probably requires some IQ points to walk. But whatever the bare minimum is for human locomotion, that is the IQ Nico was at this night. He was sitting around 40. It's probably somewhere around 40. Like, uh, right, 40. roughly, maybe, Gump. maybe just below the IQ of a golden retriever. Right yeah. there. That's where Nico was. So, no kind of so, the, so the cops, the cops, so this, after the, the lobby guy hears this, the, the, the concierge, concierge, uh, he calls that the cops. That is an annoying word. I don't like that I don't word, like concierge. that word. It's French, right? I, I don't like monsieur either, because yeah. it's spelled like monsieur. All the French words uh, suck. Fuck them, dude. Fuck them. But he calls the cops. He would. He's. He heard what you guys heard. This creepy played again, Austin. Let's hear it again. <laughs> Nico's barfing, guys. <laughs> hey, okay. man, you start talking <laughs> shit in Nico's <laughs> voice. Yeah. So the guys that would have been a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that would have been a good idea. What? What? Whoa. <laughs> he was trying to rape him for sure. Have to fucking try and figure out a goddamn fucking story. This guy's shady. Never mind. Having war flashbacks now, guys. Come on. Wait, quiet. Gay lovers. Okay? What? It's the only way we're going to get out of this. 
Dude, we gotta fucking find okay. these. Don't worry about it. You want a little better? A little bit? I'll spit. Spit. Dude, and he's about spit. to get fucking raped spit. by this guy. Dude, he's okay. maybe. Breathe. Breathe. I think he just breathe. put the phone in his pocket. Breathe. Can you breathe right now? Can you breathe three times? Yes. Oh, my God. So we, we, right there, we're on high alert. But, Nico, you might remember that, uh, well, we degenerated into fun and games pretty quickly once we realized you'd been raped. <laughs> well, the cops not called. Not been raped. Not been raped. Yeah, after the cops called, I basically told them the story, and they kind of didn't give a shit, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... If, it's okay. It was... Probably nothing. Probably. I, Leo, a, a guy like Nico, a hairy cameraman for a YouTube channel, gets raped by another man. Nobody cares. Nobody. Dude, five, that's the five truth. Five black cops beat the shit out mm. of a, a, a lesbian-esque ex-Marine yeah. in West Covina. Nobody cares. No one gives a fuck. Nobody cares, dude. Mm -hmm. You're right. Nobody. Nico, nobody cared that you almost got raped, man. So the cops didn't give a fuck. And then so then I went outside and pretended to be Palo Alto PD. Yeah, I, first of all, I tried to prank call him from the other bed. <laughs> I hid under the covers and tried to prank call Nico, <laughs> and he wasn't falling for that, just under the no, covers. No. So Leo had to go. I, and, I went outside to get water. We got rat dick in the oh house. Oh, my God. And Leo, what's up, Ratty? What Ratty! up, baby? What's up, guys? Rat dick, I told you to stop walking up here just carrying your dab right Yeah, or, or rat dick walks in, and he's, 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 he's double fisting. <laughs> he's double fisting. He's dual wielding if you're a Halo player. He's got. To, he can't have that on camera. If we just, unless we just want to kiss our views goodbye. Yeah, and all the neighbors just see Rat Dick walking in here holding a dab rig and a torch. And it's kind of good because they will never rob you. They assume you guys are crackhead white trash. <laughs> <laughs> they assume there's probably like an unneutered pit bull in here that's ready to tear somebody's face off. Yes, Rat Dick. We're gonna run this theory by Rat Dick. Nico, um, do you have any parting words for for Rat Dick, Nico? And any yeah. parting words, uh, don't get raped, Radic. It really is a masculine. Yeah, yeah, dude. Um, Nico and yeah, he says he, Nico says don't get raped, right? Dick, it really is emasculating. Nico, do you have any parting thoughts on how this weekend went? Um, epic, crazy, that was good. It you was know, good. and a lot better since I was found too. So yes, I would definitely say it ended as well as it could have. It did. With a successful two video shoot and an almost rape, which is better than no rape at all. Like, yeah. this is way better than oh. us all going to bed at 8 p.m. Because this is fun. 100%. Yeah. 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 I was going to, I was going to call him as Palo Alto PD and pretend that like he was one of many that were looking for this guy mm -hmm. and that Nico surely was raped. I was going to convince you that you were surely raped, Nico. So I'm glad that you weren't neeked out. You 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 didn't fall for the. I, don't, I know you don't remember the prank phone call, but you literally. I had a, a dialed in cop voice, and you were like, you knew it was pretty good. Yeah, it was good, and you knew from right a, away from a block number. Yeah, so, and you knew right away it wasn't fucking Palo Alto PD. Maybe his IQ was 41 at that point. Yeah, Nico, yeah. we love you. We love you, buddy. Have a good night. We are good going to too. talk to Ratic Ralph about why he couldn't make it to San Francisco this weekend. Why you had to step in. We'll talk to you soon, buddy. Okay, yeah, peace out. Have fun, Ray. Later, Ray. Love you, Neeks. Thank God you didn't get raped. I'm glad yeah, your wee wee's God. not on somebody's mantle. Yeah, Later, seriously. Ray. Same with me. <laughs> thank right, God, dude. Peace, boys. Peace. Ooh. A little wee wee in a jar, dude. dude. Unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Dahmer would have loved Neeks, huh? We should get a fake little wee wee and put it in a jar right here. That'd 100%. be unbelievable. So, right, Ratic, we I'll, have I'll a theory. We have a theory about why you couldn't come up. This, um... Take a fat dab real quick. Don't go over here. Of course, of yeah. Of course. Hey, Rat Dick, can you settle for a medium-large dab? <laughs> I really want a more lucid Rat Dick today on the show. No, this is not too bad. It's like a half, it's yeah. like a quarter gram dab. Just, it looks know. like he's got a little instrument. It's, I don't know what, it looks sort of like something you would put under your nails in order to clean out the gunk. Yeah. And on that little point that he drops into the bowl of the pipe is the biggest possible dab that could be supported by that little surface. Right. It's, it's, you know how ants can carry like a thousand times their body weight? Yeah. That's how big the dab is on this little instrument he has. Yeah. He just blew so much dab smoke into your face. They're all going to be high by the end he of He always does that, too. We he never do get high at the, by the end of this thing. The, the, um, it does, it is like a science experiment, uh, the dab rig. It's, it's, it's like uh, something you do in chemistry class in high school. Right, Tech, blow the dabs outside. I always ask you that. <laughs> you can handle it, Danny. I know. You can handle it. No, I don't want it. You 
can handle it. Y'all can, y'all can you can see it on the camera. Don't be a second hand. <laughs> Damn, dog. Right, Dick, you got to blow it outside next time. I'll give you one today. I'll give you one. And then, uh, and then get that number dialed in. The oh, other one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Get it dialed in. Don't call it quite Don't yet. Don't call it quite, quite yet. <laughs> so, Rat Dick. Ratty. All right, so. That so, Big Dab. You confirmed that was Big Dab, right, dude? What's that? Yeah, that was Big Dab, right? Big Dab, It was dog. a fat dab, okay? <laughs> I sit. I don't, I'm no longer impressed by your ability to take a fat dab, Rat Dick. You've been doing it since the day I saw you three years ago. <laughs> I looked a lot different three years ago, didn't I? A lot younger? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're three years younger. Yeah, three years younger. You can hear that. I, I, I uh, meet my friend, and he's, uh, he watched that video for the first time. Well, not first time. He watched that video. You want to talk into the mic, buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He watched the old Rattic video, and he was like, yo, you look so younger back then. I was like, yo, you're actually kind of right. I looked, I looked back, and I'm like, yo. Were you insulted when your friend said that? No, I, no, I mean, I, no, it's not a bad thing to get grow up or get old, you know? It's uh, okay. Have you grown up, Rat Dick? Have you changed? I'm growing up, bro. I'm a big Rat Dick now. Uh, I've got a big Rat Dick. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think, yeah, which uh, you guys, you will confirm. You've seen it. I think you just so, lost a little. I mean, you just gained weight maybe, no, right? Or <sighs> or do you really? I don't think you look that much older. Uh, Maybe I get to gain a little bit of weight. It's probably I think that's it all it is. Yeah, it's, but you don't I look bad. Shaved. I still I think shaved. right now you look yeah. the best you've ever looked. Thank you. So that's not bad to get a, little, get a little husky and shit. Men get fucking better as we age, you know what I mean? Not fat or anything. Right, Dick, no, you're not fat. Do you yeah. find yourself becoming more attractive to women because your knowledge of, say, current events is expanding? Oh, yeah, I, I know you've been Rat reading. Well, let's talk yeah. one at a time, right, Dick? One at a time. <laughs> but you're still your conversational manners are still developing. But <laughs> do you feel like you have more? To, I, I assume your net worth now is somewhere near a hundred thousand dollars. Do you feel like your worth to women has grown a lot since that first video? Oh yeah, man. It's, uh, my worth is my rat dick worth is getting bigger. Yeah. Let's go, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Ratic, Leo and I, I think Leo was the first one to float this theory. Yeah. We, we were trying to get Ratic up to San Francisco to film with us. The idea was we were going to have Ratic dressed as a 1920s convict. Right. That's <laughs> black and white horizontal stripes, not the orange jumpsuit. Mm-hmm. Leo and I are going to be dressed as prison guards. We were going to take him to Alcatraz Island get him absolutely loaded on LSD, if you were willing to do I it. I thought we were going to do it next weekend, because I couldn't get up there. No. no. Unfortunately, we I had... I was so down to do this idea. Well, we took Nico, and we got Nico yeah, hammered. I saw, we did the I same idea was, um, with a drunk Nico. His Instagram story, I saw that picture, and Nico looked fire. Yeah, well, Nico looked good. Fire, looked fire. It would have been fire if you were on a bunch of shrooms or acid. Well, we could use that concept in the future. We can. In the future, we can. yeah. We even got another video idea for you uh, that we're going to do soon, too, that's going to be absolutely amazing. But, Rajik, right, you don't have... Morgan Mammoth? It's gonna it's gonna be in the desert. <laughs> but Rattic, desert, you don't okay. have an ID though, so you can't get on a plane, which would be the easiest thing. I just would have bought you a plane ticket. Yeah, yeah. You you I don't know why you maybe the government took away your right to operate a motor vehicle. You can't <laughs> drive, right? Uh, I I don't have a driver's license. I lost it and everything. As okay. I was speeding on the beach, I didn't pay my court uh, ticket. Did you crash into that sign? Remember that legendary video of fans? No, said? that wasn't his. I, I guess that was. Even my, yeah. I wish I had an uh, Audi. That was funny. <laughs> that would have been even. That would have yeah. been really funny if you had crashed into that Dude, sign. Dude, that was a fire car, bro. But mm. Ratic, he couldn't drive himself. He couldn't get on any form of public transportation. We tried to get him on a train. And he kept tripping out about the terrain. <laughs> you kept tripping out about Alcatraz because you thought there were active prison guards <laughs> looking to detain people on yeah. the island. Yeah, I thought I thought it was like a, like a slave catcher situation. You had the slave catchers out there getting sure. all the black people. Sure, oh. yeah, that's, <laughs> that's exactly what Round them up, before. boys. <laughs> so, so, but yeah. Leo floated the theory that, uh-huh. well, do you remember your theory, Leo? My theory is that is if you can't hit a fat dab like once an hour at the top of the hour, is it a problem to, to travel? Like, if you were on a train and you yeah. can't hit a dab for, like, four hours. That, that, yeah, I was I was kind of worried about that traveling. And what would happen? Smoke. What would happen if you can't hit a dab? <laughs> I could, and it's, just, Leo, you're being so generous with the hour thing. Mm, it's I know. once it's, every 15 minutes. Yeah. Right, yeah. Ratic? It's yeah. closer to yeah. once every 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's uh, um, yeah, I dab pretty hard. Uh, once every, like, 20, 30 minutes, I'll take one. I, I've even dabbing at work, too. Dabbing at work, taking taking dabs. At work, meaning <laughs> in the middle of your studio apartment. Yeah, because yeah, you work from home. In the yeah. middle, of, middle of your <laughs> studio. You might be like, oh, you work. You take right, dabs. Right, it'd be good if you had some headphones so we don't talk over <laughs> each other. Should I take those? Ones? Yeah, put some headphones. Put those boys. on there. My there bad we go. boys. I haven't yeah, we just got to talk one at a time, Rat Dick. That's I can, how it I can hear your voice now. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. So, Rat Dick, is that part of it? You didn't want to be in somebody else's car or on a train. What would happen if you're on an eight hour train ride and you can't rip fat dabs? So, let me tell you, I wanted to. I told you guys, I was like, if I'm going to go, the person who does drive me is Fan Jerry, and we have to smoke DMT along the way. Mm-hmm. He has to tattoo my gooch this time. <laughs> so 
I mean, that was a great idea. Yeah, that was a great idea. Fan Jerry, unfortunately, he said no to that. I don't know why. And, you know? and Lil Iggy said uh, no, too. I can't, yeah, why? I can't <laughs> understand why Iggy would have... He's he uh, holding on to the past. You know, can mm. we find that video, Austin, on YouTube or anywhere? Oh. Why well, we got to play that right now? No. You know, it's so... I just well I, 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 can't I can't just say it the so language could, I could though just, I could just don't say, say it right don't now. say it we don't, don't know, say it no I just I can't remember <laughs> and I want to see if somebody reposted do we, but do we I mean we would have to block a lot of the language oh yeah we? of course we're definitely we have it gonna, on our own podcast of course we're gonna bleep a lot of the language I'm but, sorry about the dub day no no problem please <laughs> no, don't no. please don't do it again I kind of did I wanted to come here and take a dab I was I'm gonna go and take a fat dab and blow it towards Dan there we go Rat Dick Ralph's Instagram threats it's right there we just don't know when the exact timestamp when that's gonna come up is by the way we're not even judging you for this at all I mean we all have uh, mental health days you know dude I, mean? I am, no big deal yeah, yeah, yeah. Leo and I I actually did this to Leo once when yeah. the channel was really I I said all the same stuff to Leo about Leo it just wasn't filmed you know yeah. I didn't he didn't put it on his story. That's yeah, all. I know, boys. That was so stupid of me. Let's just let's check it out. This is the first podcast I was ever on. We're gonna splice it into the podcast for all cool. of you to Good enjoy first or not enjoy or do whatever the fuck you want with. I'll kill your ass. <laughs> Everybody scam that. I'm gonna kill. Inla Niggy is tagged in this story <laughs> that we're showing on screen. This is Rat Dick's you voice you're hearing. Fuck you, fool. Were you on Crystal Meth in this video, Rat Dick? Uh, a little bit of crystal uh, meth. I don't think I was on bitch. crystal meth. That, that you just drunk. Probably not, during that month, maybe I did. Maybe a little bit. Were you hammered? Oh, I was fucked. I was, during that time, I was drinking full balls of Sky Vodka. All right. Keep going this, boys. Like we, this is in the past. Wait, let's yeah. watch a little bit more. Let's watch a little more. Oh, my God. I want to... I remember a certain word ad. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> All right, Austin. So Austin doesn't kill himself. Yeah, I was skinny to back then. Just one. yeah, you were. So I mean, bleep that bad boy, Austin. Write that down. You could say that is the ideal version of you, right? Uh, there. Yeah, I can. I can bleep it down. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just bleep right. that. Please. Yeah, bleep everything that. is good though. I you, mean, it, Austin. You can. Just, I agree. Yeah, it's chilling. It's uh, past, look, you've grown a lot since then. Yeah. Austin, it gives me anxiety that that happened, bro. I didn't mean for any of that shit to happen. Austin, bro. maybe it's just like, if we're talking over it on it, the podcast here, maybe you, you know. can let it go so you don't cut off what we're saying here. But when he's just on his own in that clip dropping F and N bombs, you should probably bleep those. Ratic, no, no, we forgive you. You yeah. were you might have been on crystal meth that month. Thank you you, you were you. drinking. We forgive you. We completely forgive you. And look, and I've had my own blowouts. Danny's had his own blowouts. Dino had his own. He's, he's, <laughs> you know? he's, oh, yeah. he's had his big, you know, he's had big time horrible episodes out there as well. So it's not a big deal. It's not, right? dude. Yeah, it's a big deal. You know, I didn't mean for any of that to happen, and, uh, and I'm not going to play it lately. It just right, but sucks. Iggy, Iggy, because of yeah. you know, this video, I guess he didn't want to drive you up, which is yeah, fine. Which makes well, I don't really get yeah. it. I think Iggy should have been the bigger man. Seriously. I you mean, know, just, just because you called him the N-word, and just because you said you were going to effing kill him, <laughs> right. you were going to effing slit his throat, you effing N-word. Right. Like, I mean, he should still give you a, a lift. What are friends for? You guys were homies. Yeah. Yeah, is everything okay here? No, yes. no, yeah, yeah. Is everything okay here? Oh, yes. right, Dick. Okay, right, Dick. Remember, your beef. This is just stressing me out. No, no problem, dude. I, I made I made a mistake in the past. And yeah, this was almost three years ago, you guys. And I, I really, am, this might have been three years ago now. And it's like, about three years ago. Yeah, yeah. And I, I really am fucking sorry this happened. No, no, we're dude, we're joking with you, right, Dick? <laughs> yeah, we just, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a ridiculous it's really, scenario. We're joking. You're with one that. of the most it's entertaining. Fucked it's fucked up, Rat Dick. You're one of the most yeah. entertaining human beings. I can beings. bring out the crazy right now. I'm not gonna bring no. the crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 because I don't, I don't feel that. that energy. I don't have that same no. energy anymore. You know, Rat well, Dick, you are entertaining, yeah. and this was entertaining. Yeah. No well, Rat Dick, it was there. It was. You did send a couple of choice messages to Mudflap this week. So you get want to get into that. Well, so what do you I, think? It's right funny, there. and so it's, I, I'll get into it. So, yeah. okay. so I saw in the group text. Um, uh, Dude, don't tell, don't tell people what our plans no, are, because no, no. we planned a video. Don't say yeah, what it we is. We planned a certain a group video. video. It's going to be a big group video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, and and, uh, and you and Mudflap and the rest I, of the crew were invited. Like, I was just like, no, I don't know. Leo was just like, who wants to come? And everyone was like, I'm down. I was like, I'm down. And uh, I was like, I was like, you know, if this video is going to be Blah blah blah. It needs to. Can you talk right into the mic, right? Yeah, I, this video needs to have fucking a rat dick Ralph and something. I'm not going to say what else because I want to give away the video. Right. But, RDR. Yeah. We, so, we need, and we some other fold. concept. And I was yeah, like, yeah. you know, like it shouldn't have fucking fat ass and Bud Light. It should have mushrooms and this. And so you're for, when you say fat just, ass and Bud Light, you're <laughs> for, you, said it, you said it to Mud Flap. I was just saying it to the group chat. Uh -huh. I wasn't saying it to Mud Flap. I was trying yeah. to say it to the. 
uh, people who are going to think of the video concept because I wanted, if it was going to be a, a an OG concept, I didn't want to like have it ruined with Bud Light and, right, and something. But it's not a bad deal right. for something that happened, you know. Like, Would you consider yourself fat phobic? No, no. Okay. You wouldn't. Nothing no, against I his thought, weight. I thought it was okay to call him Mud Fat. I thought that was his character to be a big, big, big yeah, That does get confusing big, big sometimes. Guy, you know? He's been making an effort to lose weight. Yeah, yeah. If you follow his Twitter, you'll see this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Meal preps, lots of footage yeah. of him in the kitchen. It's serious. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Ratic, cool. I, I don't see why it can't have the video. It can have both. You know? Ratic and Shrews and, then, and uh, a, a quote fat guy I wasn't in the 40s. Angry or anything. I was just like, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, you're attacking me. I was like, I'm not well, 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 Leah, what, what then, else did Ratic say? Because Ratic, oh, you're, you're downplaying Leo it a little bit like, right now. He was like, oh, we should wrestle. I was like, fine, let's can we, can we pull up? Like, can we pull up a little bit of it? I mean, it was unbelievably funny. Kind of funny. And, and it was it, it was yeah. lighthearted in nature. So let's go over it. We're just, so we're can call, we not read the certain parts of all of it? I won't read the certain parts. Mudflap is like saying some. I won't read any of Mudflap. Uh, that makes yeah, it better. Yeah, it makes it a little better. It's not. Dude, it's the, whatever you want, right, Dick? Because yeah, Mudflap said some evil shit, and I was just. Like, I know we're not right. going there. We're not going there. All right. That's and I left the group chat because I was like, I don't want anything to do with you guys anymore. Like, if that's how you guys really feel about me. I'll just well, it dip. was it was Mudflap said that, but you attacked Mudflap first. Yeah. That's what I point yeah. out. Yeah, but I was just calling him fucking right, so fat, which is a so joke. This is, <laughs> this is how you. Oh, this is how. This is how it. Oh, this is the kind of what made Mudflap a little upset. Which let's just say, let's just kind of put it out there so people can debate whether what you said was cool or not, which I think is, uh, I think it's very interesting. So let's you know just... why this whole thing of month flap even started is because we were on the uh, shoot and um, like he said, I stole 20 bucks from you guys. I just found 20 bucks on the floor. I was like, Oh, whose money is this? Yeah. 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 <laughs> And right. then, yeah, it's, it's not a big deal. That was That's the Indio County. Is it video. possible he framed you? Is it possible he, he framed you? He framed because he told my friend DZ, about that shit. That's we're gonna cue, about. we're gonna tell Mudflap that he might be a framer tonight on the yeah, phone. But no, yeah. I don't want to call Mudflap tonight. Don't uh, to call we don't have to call him, yeah, but we are gonna him. just talk to this. So, to so him. you go, you I go. Don't, I don't want, I don't want, contact Mudflap is scaring me. I don't want to be. Scared. Why he would never do anything to you? I, I just don't want anything. I don't want. I don't want to be around him. I mean, I just he sounds like he's you know, like. I don't know. I just, are I we, want to be your guys' friends, basically. Are we, the mic, are we giving you a bummer? Are we giving you a bummer high right now, Rad? A little Dick? bit. A little, a little bit, bit of a bummer. <laughs> I think, dude, have fun with it, man. Yeah. This is nothing. Dude. You what can have, say what I what said. happened it's with you between? That bad. I didn't say exactly. Yeah. You said if you're going to go back to blank, you got to bring Rat Dick and the Grim Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper. Mud flap is just a fat ass. What we gonna do with him? <laughs> so that's it's how it funny. started. It's funny. It's funny. Right? It's funny. Yeah, then you yeah. go, I just don't want to ruin an OG concept with a fat ass and a Bud Light some bitch. Just putting my two cents out there. <laughs> don't get offended, Snowflake. <laughs> Which is pretty good. And yeah, Mudflap yeah. is responding like, <laughs> Right. He's saying some stuff back, which I'm right. not going to say. And then you said, go ask your dad for a cup of coffee, which is, that's a nice little jab. You know, that's kind of, um, that's sort of like a high you IQ burn. A like asking your dad for a cup of coffee is, that's sort of a high IQ burn. That might be the best. It's pretty solid. That might be the best insult Rat Dick's ever. That's pretty good. You're getting sharper, Rat Dick. Thank you. Thank and you. then, you know, uh, then you said something along the lines is, uh, shut your fat ass <laughs> up. You're going to catch diabetes. If you keep eating two dinners every night, fat flap, when's the last time you fucked? <laughs> uh, Ratic, do you have a Jewish writer that you picked up at a comedy dude, club? I know. This is pretty good shit, dude. Like, I was actually just impressed. And it wasn't out of hate or anger. It was just out of trying to fucking... <laughs> You but know. trying to be the content king that you are. <laughs> yeah, right? I was being a little bit rat. I pulled a rat dick. You pulled a rat dick. You pulled a rat dick. And I, I saw also, by the way, on the other Danny Mullen, the professional soccer player's Instagram post. Did you see that? You wrote, oh. you ever seen a rat dick? And it's got a ton of likes. It's got like oh, 60 or like 30. Yeah. It's the most like comment. Like. Yeah, definitely. It's a picture of him and his wife and his baby right, rat dick. That's, that's what it is. But good thing the other Danny Mullen is really cool. <laughs> so those are some of the, the those are the uh, only screenshots I have there. So, so rat dick, you sure you don't want to talk to Mudflap right now and just Smooth it I over. think smooth it over. I, that's what we wanted to do today was maybe have you two guys kind of smooth it over. You My know, heart is pounding because I don't know what he's going to say to me. Well, it's, he's not going to say anything mean to you. But also, what could he possibly say that's mean? Uh, this mean you have you're in a relationship and you live in a nice apartment. Yeah, and you got a job, bro. Like you're the yeah. man. Yeah. It, and you just it's whatever it is, dude. This is just like think of this as like pro wrestling stuff. If you exactly. want to squash it with him, squash it. We're not judging. Whatever. Just if you want to say whatever, no, I, I gotta apologize to him for uh, coming at him like that. You know. it's that sounds good too. I like it. I yeah. tried. I tried. You know, he messaged me. He he saw a picture on my story. It was like I was feeding my dog tacos. He was like, oh, is there onions in those tacos? And I was like, no, there's not. So it's like chill with them. 
I could have said something mean to him. I just I was trying to be cool, and I was like, I, was, I first started like. Doing what what podcast. would you have responded with? Why you want the onions for yourself, fat ass? I, I was. I told my girlfriend, I was like, should I say some fucked up shit right now? Because he messaged me first, and I don't know. I was just like, well, Maretta, tell that Mike a little bit. Oh, let's give him a call, Austin. Let's just give let's just clear the air. We'll it, see what it, you it's going to be okay if we call. Yeah. Him? Oh yeah, Absolutely. of course. Okay, of course, yeah. we'll see. There's no you don't. We'll have to, see, <laughs> Ratic. Don't worry about it. Again, it's it's. I don't know. What think of it as. Say, bro, I don't want him to. Well, uh, he's not going to say anything. Watch. If like it's weird. Yeah. It's well, weird, we'll yes. we'll and we could also uh, cut shit out if you want us to. Yeah, it makes right? me uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Mud flap. Oh man, how you doing, buddy? We're all right, man. We're here on the pod. You know what I mean? And uh, we were thinking about right. doing a big video with the whole crew, and there's some a little bit of an in- internal strife. So we have. None other than Rat Dick here, and he, he wanted to say something to you, and I believe it is in, in positive in nature, but go ahead, Rat Dick, and let him know how you feel, and and be honest. Oh, hi, my flat. Into the microphone. Right, right into the yeah. microphone. Right you know, pull we're, closer. We were talking about this for a while. I you know, wanted to tell you I apologize. You know, you, and for what specifically? For coming at him like that and stuff. Coming at him how? Yeah, how? What said, did you... I said what? the stuff that I said, which was... What was that? Ill, and it was uh, not meant... Oh, like, Ill intentions. It was just, uh, it was like kind of fucked up for sure, and I apologize, you know, bro. And I don't want there to be like anything, you know, wrong. Between us. Into the mic, right, Dick? He's yeah. in the mic. Mudflap. Yeah. We, because we wanted to have it, and we're not revealing where this shoot location is, so please keep that. But we oh, were really okay. excited okay. about it. We thought it'd be a good old fashioned uh, jamboree for the Danny Mullen crew. We're really, really pumped up to get everybody Yo, together. Who's Danny? And the, a big hoot and nanny. And then we saw just the fireworks, the <laughs> erupting in the direct messages on Instagram as Leo and I were driving back from Northern California. And we just thought, you know what? Not in our content gang. Mm-hmm. Just not in yeah, our gang. I yeah, I mean, you guys not as good as I do. It was all this guy. I, I was just fucking talking the thing, and he just was like, attacking me like some bitch man is this guy smoking crack again or what i don't know but right dick are you smoking crack again no i haven't done that in like a few few years honestly (laughs) you weren't on crack around noon yesterday when he sent those messages to mudflat no i just woke up (laughs) and i was little maybe i got a little uh i don't know i just i don't know into the microphone right dick i'm sorry a little i just woke up and i saw the messages and i was like that's fucked up for me to say, you know, I'm not, you know. I'm going to need some full-on fellatio to completion, then we can, then I think it will forgive you. Would you be yeah. willing to give him a blowjob? No, no, not at all. Come not on, dude. What's wrong? <laughs> I don't need no blowjob. You call, it's, not, it's not that situation, you know. You, just, you, you insult the some bitch stir. I mean, that's the pretty standard I way of making of, uh, things uh, better. A lot of ill, uh, or like past, like. I don't even know what it is, but just, you know, it's like, I just don't want to try to move past it all and shit. You, know? you do. You thought he set you up. To, why don't you ask him about the, the twenty dollar bill? Maybe you guys could clear the air on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I, I was, I was all pissed off about that shit. You know. It's, so yeah, mud, mud flap. Know. Do you maintain that Rat Dick stole twenty dollars from you in Inyo County in the spring of twenty twenty one? Twenty twenty one. Well, that's something he blew up way bigger than it ever was. I just mentioned it to you. I'm like, hey, man, I think you took $20 from my wallet and then tried to give it back to me. But fucking, it was never a big fucking deal. But, I mean, obviously, I don't need $20, and he obviously does. So, but whatever, dude. Yeah, I mean, it never was a big that's, deal that's, for me. That's fucked up. But I, I don't know, bro. Tell, well, how, do you, how do you feel about that little jab My, my right friend there. DZ told me that you told him that, basically, and I was just like, I found twenty dollars on the floor, and I just was like, "Oh, who's my? I don't need twenty dollars." Like, that's I never asked these guys for money or anything, you know. Like, I don't know, Leo. Right now, it, it feels like he's the United States. Mm-hmm. It, let me say that again. It, it feels like mud flaps the United States, rat dicks the USSR, and we're in the middle of the Cold War. Right. Yeah, Shots haven't right. been <laughs> they haven't been right. fired yet on this call, right. but I feel like an ICBM could be shooting across the Atlantic any second. It's no, true. I was well, really I, I really tried to be cool. I really and I'm no, still what cool. it is is it's like you know, um, and, and the answer your question, the answer is yes. Like you know, he keeps thinking he's tough, but you know he's poking the bear. I, I don't fuck around, but you know I'm a very nice guy and I keep it calm. I keep it collect because I know who's top dog. I don't need to. Bark against a rat dick. It's obvious. It's it's like, like I said in the group chat, it's like fighting a girl. 
you know, like, that's fucked up, bro. Gonna win, but if that, you, that, that's but just fucked up of you to lucky. say like that. And then you two, you said you don't want to wrestle me, like, and I'm not. I was like, no, oh. I don't. I mean, if you, but if you just, but then you can't say stuff me, like that, because bro, you went to college, bro. And I went to the streets, bro. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? No, you, you didn't win the streets. You lived on the streets. I lived on the streets. I never lived on the streets, bro. What are you talking but here's about? The, bro? But here's the thing, Rad Dick. Uh, I don't have anything nice to say about you, of you. Um, yeah, and you're anyway, just going to keep saying what you said, you. saying I'm a girl, and that's just whatever. Man. I, I, don't, don't I, don't, sing, I don't have anything nice to say about you. I don't, <laughs> don't want to be your friend. That's but fine. I'll tolerate you for the, for the videos or whatever. All the rest of the yeah. guys are my good and friends. Then, I'd do anything for those guys. But yeah, you, I know. That, I mean, like, I you, wanted to. I you liked saying, you at like, first. I related with yeah. you, but... You never liked me, bro. You always was geared towards has, me, bro. That it's ship all, has it's failed. All good, though, dude. <laughs> the ship has you know, failed. You know, bro, like... Well, look, I, I think I'm, sometimes I'm when two... You're going to say that shit, bro, but then you you, you say you won't wrestle me? Like, that doesn't make sense. Ratic, listen. Sometimes when you, there's... You need to... I'm going to be the arbitrator now, and he's he said his piece. Yeah. And I think that you should get out kind of the evil inside, whatever you're feeling that oh, you want to say inside. towards him, whatever you want to say towards him, you say it now. There's because no evil inside. Once it's clear, him, men, just, when you clear the I air. I what I had to say. Like, know? for example, sometimes I look at Dino and I go, you're a skinny little fucking twig looking motherfucker. Yeah. He and so, and I, honestly, I sometimes I want to drop kick you because he, it pisses me off that you're that skinny and it grosses me out. I'll yeah. say something like that to him. Leo and I were just talking about this. Barry Bonds at the height of his run. Right. With the Giants, there was this dude from Texas on the team. Mm -hmm. he, him and Barry Bonds were neck and neck for the top position on the team, being the best guys. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of beef, a lot of rivalry. One day, the tension boiled over, and they just beat the shit out of each other in the dugout. Next day, they're spotted in the outfield, bullshitting, hanging out. They're best friends. No, I would never get in a fight with myself like that. That's it's good. Like that. Well, you're That's trying good. to grapple him right now. No, it's because I'm what Leo brought that up, you know. Well, I would it would be nice to do that. That in, would be a cool video in the yeah, video, yeah. yeah. In know, the video, that not, would be kind of dope. It's not. I mean, a contained environment would be a cool, yeah. cool thing. You Retic, know? you're you seem to me to be playing meek right now. Like he's like this. Oh shucks, I just right. I couldn't be nah. capable. Of anything. But you did yesterday. I want to remind Called you, Retic, and, I said and you led you OG led concepts. with calling him a fat ass with yeah. zero provocation from yeah. Mudflap. Yeah, you led with calling him a fat ass, and then proceeded to insult him for about six lines of text so maybe it would not be a bad idea to sincerely apologize to mudflap i said i'm sorry did, i said i was sorry well yeah, yeah, yeah. first started the uh, yeah i guess that was mudflap that was yeah, so I, apologize I understand this. mudflap's anger i apologize again if that's what you want to hear all right all right, all right. I'm, I'm down for peace to be made here <laughs> you know i'm sorry mudflap you know it's it wasn't that uh big of a deal what i said i hope you didn't take it in a negative way and you obviously said that you didn't take it in a negative way you know it was just words to you, you know, and it doesn't matter. You don't like me, and I know I understand that, you know, and I'll just let it be. But I want you to know that I would never do anything to, you know, ill ill you, you know. Never. I think you should do this. Yeah. Uh, I think you should, when we go to the place to film the video, I think you should leave a $20 bill at the foot of a mudflap sleeping bag. <laughs> and... I think it should have rat ears drawn on. <laughs> That's a fun on Jackson. Idea. Okay, I'll, I'll give you, you, I'll give you that twenty too. I'll give you. I'll, it'll be out of my pocket too. So. Thank, thank uh, I, I I could go with twenty dollars. You know, <laughs> it's not a big deal. <laughs> well, Mudflap, how's it been going? I've been following you on uh, Twitter. You've your fitness transformation seems to be in full gear. You haven't drank in quite some time. You feeling good, buddy? Yeah, man. Um, like for example. Um, I bought some jeans for the for the Friday beer shoot. What was that? Two months ago, and they were like walking around jeans, the kind where you can't really sit down in. Yeah. And now they're falling off of me. I'm on the last loop of my double or my DXL belt, so like I'm sitting back into not all my double X's, but like if it's a larger double X, like I can fit into a double X Ralph Lauren again. You know. That's dope. Um, yeah, man, I've seen a, I've seen a lot of, I haven't weighed myself um, since I started because I mean, like, what's the fucking point? Honestly, it's not sure, gonna sure. be good sure. no matter which way you look at it for a couple months. Yeah, you'd have to go so. to like a like a, a dairy farm or no. something. <laughs> <laughs> Mud floppy, uh, you'd have to go to the zoo at this point to get uh, a scale. Um, <laughs> do the, the fat the, the dump? <laughs> do the yeah. fat jokes get to you at all, a mud flap, or do you think that it's something that uh? Oh, you know, no, if you no. let if you let it get to you, then yeah. No, it's not that at all. It's my fucking doctor looking at me and going like, "Hey, man, like, 
do you want to see 40 or nah? And it's like, right, oh, damn. fuck. Did he say 40? You know, he's looking yeah, at, bro. He said 40, my oh, flat? He didn't well, give no, me a number, I, but I, when I said, yeah. like, you know, if I, if I could easily not see 40, he's yeah. like, I could see that happening. And, like, damn. you know, at one point, I got up to, like, 405 was the, when I weighed in, and I think I was probably at, like, 420 or 430 at one point, potentially. Wow. So, and, um, but yeah, dude, like, like I didn't eat for fucking 76 hours and I've, uh, you know, I've been doing one or two meals a day. I threw away all the bread and tortillas I had in the house. No carbs, nice. you know, nice, right? Uh, nice I had fun, edibles but... a couple times, but, uh, it's kind of dope that you okay. got up to, to 420 at least once, you know? <laughs> yeah, you should have made a video out of that. That would have been the, the peak of your fat Mount Everest. Right. Fucking down. like. You know, 405 was just, that was the point where I was like, all right, dude, like, I need to go to the fucking doctor. Like, I might as well make it to 420 if I'm already going to be Yeah, <laughs> you might as well. It'd be impossible for Austin and Dino to ever, I don't know how they, they would do it. It would be crazy. I mean, it, there's no way. Oh, yeah, yeah. These guys. Skinny for me is 250, you know. Right, Mudflap, I love this, though, because I think that's Leo and I. It's our vision for the channel that, you know, people start on the channel. They get hazed a little mm-hmm. bit. But then they they reach a maturity and they become part of the brotherhood. That's right. It's like they are initiated from pledges to neophytes to full blown fraternity brothers. And Ratig is a prime example of that. He's he's come a long way himself. Yeah. He's coming. Yeah. He's on his he's journey. He's still got a way to go. But I'm saying, like, other than the five minute segment we opened the show with about Jerry getting the shit beat out of him by the Scorpion unit in <laughs> Memphis. Be nice. Other than that, Jerry is one of the guys now. Jerry mm-hmm. no longer really gets messed with on no. shoots as the same is with Inla Niggy. Yeah. And Mudflap, you taking this step to get your health under control and, and limit the drinking, I think you taking that step to make yourself better and establish yourself as an effective person is going to go a long way to bringing you into being part of the brotherhood, where soon it's going to be, nobody's going to be calling you fat, you're going to be calling other people small dicked or stupid mm-hmm. or squinty <laughs> Or long yeah, nose, or money that. loving, or media controlling. These are all just Jewish stereotypes. Dude, that was a joke. <laughs> that was, oh, that was, I could, that was you know. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, mud flap. That's I am happy for you, man. I like it when I like it when people realize that. And this is something that's kind of lost in this country. Is just oh, it, Joe Biden up there, like people of color are being disproportionately attacked. We're gonna pay off your student loans. Uh, women need to be paid six hundred times more than they're making now. Just everybody is like, what can the government do for me? Like the Kennedys, for, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for, for your, your country. country. That attitude. Mm-hmm. I love it when people demonstrate that and fucking do something for themselves because it's so rare these days. Mm-hmm. Like you try yeah, to, to you try to help people or give them some advice, and it just it seems like fewer and fewer people can do anything for themselves, which is why it makes me happy you're taking control of your sobriety and your weight, dude. Let's do it. Yeah, dude, I really have, and like you know, like I've even like I'm, I haven't worked out in the last few days because I worked out so much that my shoulders, elbows, and knees are hurting me from like body's like oh shit we're not used to moving with all this weight what the fuck but, is your dick uh, getting bigger better. as the fat pad recedes i can see it a lot easier than a month ago i'll tell you that much hell yeah man like, welcome uh, back my like, old friend you still still smoking weed oh i was i was smoking more weed than ever are you kidding i'll me? give him that one i'll give him that one it's advice it's okay if you smoke but weed man that, that is the least of your worries dude that is so much better than downing like 16 beers every day yeah yeah, 16, my, what I was doing for, oh, fuck, dude, from, like, 2017 to, like, 2020, at least a 12-pack and a fifth of liquor every other day, or, or for every Damn. two days, you know? It, my flop, while, be, now, least, be honest with us. Be honest with us. So how were your days looking at the worst of it? Because... Anytime you came and shot with us, that's how you were drinking. And we had our suspicions that even when you went home on Monday and Tuesday, you would be drinking like that, too. Is that what it was? Was it about every other day you were getting absolutely hammered? Or be honest, was it every every day? day. Every day. I was was, uh, every day. I was saying every other day I'd go and get a I'd re up. I'd get like either two bottles or a 12 pack in a bottle or a 30 pack. But I, I would definitely have a beer and a liquor. But, like, there was a fucking span probably for a year, you know, 
um, even maybe even closer to two years where I was doing a good bottle of fucking night. And then like, Damn. you know, yeah, for real, like a bottle of what? The most I, a bottle of whiskey or vodka or tequila. I'd switch it up. Um, the most I ever drank was almost an entire, uh, well, this happened on like three different occasions. I drank about three fourths to a little bit more of a fifth or of a, of a handle. And that was majority to myself. It's Every not night? All of it. No, no, no. On, on like, that was the most I, I, I've drank that I, that I can remember that I measured was damn near damn. a handle in one fucking night. And how did so, you feel mud flap? Because I mean, that's one of the reasons I never got too much into drinking is because I feel like crap the next day. And my, my thing is life is hard enough on eight hours of sleep without a hangover yeah. with a cup of coffee yeah. in your right hand. It's true. Life is hard enough as it is. And you don't need to make it harder with alcoholism, poor diet, lack of sleep or whatever. How did you feel say like this October, like at the very end of the heavy drinking, how were you feeling every day when you woke up? Yeah, that's the thing. Um, forever, you know, any alcoholic will really tell you, you serious person who's drinking a lot. Well, if you, once you do that, if you're doing that every fucking night, you don't get hung over anymore. You don't even have to like do a hair of the dog. You know, you just fucking wake up like a million bucks. Like, Van Josh really? can tell you about it. He's, he's still in the middle of that. I can tell. But yeah. Like, that's yeah, true. but like, Van you know, Josh you just wake alcohol, up like that. Yeah. But like, I've realized now if I like do, th- like, if I, if I, um, I like, I've noticed if I go on a sh- like a two, three day shoot and I'm drinking every single day, on the third day, I'm hurting. Like, I'm, I can feel my insides. It's like a couple of days sometimes and just like, yeah. Yeah, not in a good way. You know, when you like, you you just like oh like, and you know it's the booze I'm like that is just un fucking healthy and it's like not a matter of if it's gonna impact my health extremely negatively it's about when right <laughs> and, and, mud, um, and mud flap yeah. I know you're you're still relatively new to quitting alcohol I think you're gonna feel better and better every month that passes here that you don't drink but. What is your mental state like now versus how it was in October? Because I imagine that's got to be very depressing to be in that cycle of alcoholism. Are you happier now? That's a good question. Uh, yeah, no, I'm I, I'm a lot. I'm definitely a lot healthier or happier because, especially you know, I'm doing everything. I've actually kind of found God a little bit too. I've been reading the Bible every day. Nice, and, man. Um, Hell yeah, yeah dude. I've been like. You know, I've been reading the Bible. I've been eating well, working out. I'm, I have some two partners. I'm starting a business. We have a nice man. We have a legit lawyer who's being our lawyer for very expensively. And we have a free accountant. And like we have, we have all of this, like everything's looking quite well. And, um, you know, I'm just like, you know, it really, but like, you know, Andrew Tate will tell you, you just got to get up off your ass and start doing stuff. You know, I wasn't yeah. moving and like, Looking back, there's a lot of things that I could have been doing and wasn't doing that I knew I should have been doing. And like, chances are, if you're fucking up and you're like, and you're doing some shit like I was, you, and unless you're a complete dumbass, you know you're fucking up and you know what you're doing. You don't need to go talk to some therapist. You know what you're doing wrong. Just stop fucking doing yeah. it. Yeah. You know, and that's, what, that's basically what I was telling myself. And Joe Rogan did a really good thing where he said, uh, you know, act like, you know, there's a film crew following you and like, what would you do? And that's, Exactly what I've been doing, and I, and it's so fucking cheesy that I chose New Year's to change New Year, New my lap, but that's exactly what's fucking happened. So, well, in your case, and maybe you have a film crew. You usually drink more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you need yeah, a fish and, eye to capture your. Yeah, and on our, I can oh, Just one day, last one for the road. <laughs> fucking ass. <laughs> you <laughs> slipped that one in there, didn't you? And Mud, no, we're so proud man, of you, man. Mud, we're proud awesome. of you, man. I mean, yeah, I was. Uh, you told me, uh, you told me that you were going to do this like a while ago, like uh, I think at least a year <laughs> ago, at least a year. Yeah. Or, uh, but uh, it, it's good to see it happening eventually, man. And long and, um, time coming. You know, hell yeah, bro! And uh, we're proud of you. And and look, we tried to engage you and uh, and and Rat Dick here in in in, in like a WWE style kind of uh, you know kind of <laughs> fight, but you guys didn't take the bait, which is good. To you know what I mean? That's rat dick growing, man. That's that's mature rat dick, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's a big rat dick right there. It's big rat dick. Yeah, it's splinter dick. <laughs> you know, he's a, he's a big rat, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Mudflap, do you have any parting words for Rat Dick Ralph? 
And remember, remember what Jesus would do. Right. Hey, stop being a son bitch. Stop That's fair. Being a son bitch. That's fair. Uh, after that's what fair. you said yesterday. <laughs> Rod Dick, yeah, are you tearing? You, are you tearing up a little bit, Rod Dick? I see no, some no, liquid coming. Up, no, you see that? Li- you see that, Leo? I do no, see he's uh, crying. Uh, a bit of te- on his left what? eye. No, there's, no, a, there's, there's, there's a teardrop on your left eye. Uh, I don't know. Not, How old? Okay. Can, you, can you zoom on that? Somebody can. Can zoom, you get that off this camera? I don't know. I don't know if I'm crying. Rod Dick, are you moved <laughs> by Mudflap's transformation? I am moved. You're moved. How old is Skyler? I just turned 24. You just turned 24. You're still a kid, dude. Still young, young Rat Dick. You have a lot. Right, Dick, you're, you're crying right now. It's okay crying. to admit it. You're okay. crying. I'm crying. Yeah. W- what about <laughs> Mudflap's story really touched you? Was it that he found Jesus, or he's lost all these pounds? Ah, uh, shoot, uh, the Jesus part and and the losing weight is really it's, it's really, really good. and just you know proving me wrong. You know that's really dope. And mm. can you tell him one more time that he's you f- apologize for yeah, what you said? I definitely do yeah. apologize for what I said. That was fucked up. That's I, great. I don't think it's good to start, to start well, shit with anybody. Why don't we say uh, goodbye to the Doesn't lead to good, you know. I, I, I won't do it again, you know. Yeah, hell yeah, All dude. Right. There we go. <laughs> well, Don't let's... Bitch. let's uh, Let's say goodbye to Mudflap and and wish uh, you know we'll see you again soon for this video and maybe you and Rat Dick can uh, can have a fun little segment in the video, no doubt. Sure. Sounds good. Yeah, and, I, and I'm curious you know, about something the messed up parameters oh, about man. the video, so we'll talk about it soon. We'll talk Sounds about it soon, good. buddy. Sounds good. See you, buddy. Thank you. All right, hey, later, on, bros. And Austin, do you mind calling up uh, IHOP on your speed dial there? I just, I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna order some food for the for the guys. Here. I love that. I love that. Also, you, I do want to say that Ratic. I had an idea for oh. Ratic right now. Sure, though. sure, yeah. Um, what if he just sent an unsolicited Ratic picture to <laughs> Mudflap right now, though? <laughs> yeah, that sounds great too. <laughs> That'd be terrible. <laughs> but, but honestly, this is beautiful right now. I say we. Just, I'm just gonna call IHOP. Yeah, call IHOP. And I'm just gonna you know get in a, put in a little order um, love for it. you guys. Well, what do you, what do you think you want to get? Mm, I'd like some uh, multi grain pancakes. Multigrain pancakes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Watching your figure a little bit. Yeah. Light butter. Light butter and uh, sugar free syrup. Okay, I'm going to get, you know, we had a pretty long weekend. We worked hard. I'm oh. going to get some waffles with strawberries and whipped cream. Damn. I'm, I'm going to celebrate a little bit. I'm jealous. And uh, Ratik, what do you want from my hub, man? We're ordering IHOP right yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. We're uh, damn, bro. I'll get um, two pancakes. Two pancakes? With. Uh, Two pieces of bacon. Okay. Uh, I'm right. going to have them assemble it. You know, they do Mickey Mouse pancakes. Are we really ordering IHOP? Oh, oh, no, no, no. I, I ate sushi before. I don't really need food. Maybe. No, no, it's okay, man. I got yeah. you, bro. This has been a be- What do you want, Dino? Give a call I IHOP. Hey, he's going to get a dog. Zippity ba doo. Zippity ba doo. Yeah, yeah. I want to get them pancakes, you motherfucker. Sorry, my son uh, is on the phone. Um, I'm sorry. I just wanted to do a quick order. He's He has, uh, he has a Tourette syndrome. Um, sorry, uh, do you guys do takeout? Yes, sir. Oh, that's Are fantastic. You looking for or I'm going to take your mom out to the dumpster because she's a fat hunk of coal. You mother- uh, yeah, yeah. Christopher! <laughs> Christopher! Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Bro. Dude, <laughs> fuck tight. Doggo, that was dude. Tight, was that the return of Doggo? That was dude? Doggo without oh, the mask, dude. Shit, dude. He just that talks like, I don't know what. It's, He's... Like an old blues he's, saxophone. He's out of speed, his dude. fucking mind, dude. I don't know what to say. I was, I was like, I don't know, pancakes, bacon. I don't know. Rot- I mean, I, mean, I, I, know, I was just, oh, we'll call back later and I'll actually order some for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I was feeling like pancakes. Yeah, dude. we'll call it back just, later. Something uh, came uh, over me, man. It happened. Yeah, let's watch. We got to, or you have to send a rat deck to Mudflap. But let's see Dino. Are we really going to send a rat Also, meanwhile, yeah, while we're pulling Dino's video up, rat deck, you want to just dial up your dad, see if he answers? Sure, I, I have my phone on me, bro. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. Do you have his number? Do you know his number memorized? I don't even know his okay. number. Okay, how much, my bad, bro. How much okay. of this is going to have to be bleeped because it's filled with, like... I don't think there's any cussing in this video. Really? Uh, I, right. I was more thinking of, like, racial stuff, but it's all right. Let's play it. No, no, this one's kind of... It's normal. It's What's normal, up, all right. boys? We out here at Target. Excuse me? Y'all trying to buy me this? I'm trying to get some dubs in Fortnite. <laughs> I could get, like, two skins with we this. Don't have any money. <laughs> The Me love. either. Dude, they love him, though. The girl's cute. Oh, yeah? yeah? I only have 10 bucks. I'm sorry. The girl's cute. Can I get your number? Maybe you can buy me some later when you get a job because you're broke. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe. This game's kind of... What's your number? Dude, she likes him. Dude, this is bullshit. Oh, my God. <laughs> how, Dino? Dino's got game. Dino, how did you do that? That girl's hot, Dino. Dino, Thanks you should... Me for wait, 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 wait. No, 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 fuck you, Dino. Replay that. Fuck you, Replay dude. that, dude. Dude, Dino, you're just gonna... You're not even gonna hit her up, are you? 
No, that girl's in love with you. Yeah, wait, because you're going to keep banging the chick who doesn't even appreciate your big wee-wee? Wait, keep going. Dude, look at this body language on the exit. We'll just be quiet. Unbelievable. Let's let's back it up. I was interrupting. I was so blown away. Let's listen to the whole audio again for the listening audience. This is unbelievable. Hey, excuse me? Y'all trying to buy me this? I'm trying to get some dubs in Fortnite. <laughs> I could get like two skins with we this. Don't have any me either. That's why I'm trying to get some Fortnite. I, mean, I would if I could. Oh yeah? yeah? I only have 10 bucks. I'm sorry. Can I get your number? Maybe you can buy me some later when you get a job because you're broke. <laughs> Touching her face. Oh my. What's your number? God. Here, I'll just type it in. Oh my God. You play Fortnite? No. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, you're, I mean, <laughs> Thanks for buying me for now. Nervous, in, dude. in advance. It's fine. Oh my god, dude. Excuse me? Will you buy this for me? I'm just really trying to play Fortnite. Get some skins. Sorry? You know? Like buy it for you? Yeah, so I can get some wins in Fortnite. No. <laughs> but I need a good keyboard. No. My parents won't give me one. <laughs> You're holding a keyboard? Yeah, it's a keyboard and, but, uh, and V-Bucks. No. How much would it be? Please? <laughs> like a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. I'll do anything. You're wearing my old yeah. hand-me-down shoes that I jumped into a body of water with. <laughs> and they're too with. big you for buy me this? Those probably have like mildew Fortnite. with them, dude. <laughs> really? How am I going to win? Will you buy me this for Fortnite? Sorry? Can you give me this for Fortnite? Why are there mad honeys? I can get like target, two though. skins with this, and then with the this, girl was like, unbelievable at the I'll have more yeah. gaming reaction Dino. time and stuff. No, thank you. But I'll get wins and stuff. <laughs> Did you say better reaction time? Will you buy me this for Fortnite? Uh, sorry. This is like four thousand <laughs> five hundred V bucks, dude. One hundred percent. Yeah, I can get like, like your <laughs> sorry or Naruto. Hey. I'm not understanding. You're trying to sell it to me. Huh? No. <laughs> I love this guy. Dude. Who is this guy? I'm trying to... Will you buy this for me? <laughs> oh. So that I can win in Fortnite. I don't have the money. I'm sorry. If they see that I'm Master Chief, they're going to be, like, terrified. And then I'm going to get the jump on them. I'm going to win. I don't have the money. I'm sorry. Dino, do you okay, even like Fortnite? I don't Fortnite? have the money either. Uh, it's all right. He says it's all right. <laughs> all right, pause it. How much longer do we have? I like oh, let better. me just skip to the, the yeah, funny clip. Let's get to the end. climax. This this part's funny right here. Oh, it's really cute. Oh, let me go back. More Asian New people. Years. <laughs> dude, love Dino. Dude, that girl is hot. I like dude, the super dog. Jerk off. It's really cute. Thank you. I just got out of jail for bestiality, but I'm all good now. <laughs> How much for the dog? <laughs> is it for sale? Look at that cute dog in the back. Okay. Pan Pacific Park. This one will do. <laughs> This one'll do. <laughs> you just this one. It's a quality video, Dino. Dino, I uh, I gotta say, you just doing like autistic based pickup content might have an audience. Yeah. What do you think, dude? I think I think if you do this uh, two times a week, if you do three, if you're gonna do a three minute video, I think you need to do them two times a week. And if you do that for a year, I think you could start making. A good amount of money from your channel. I think you'd be making money from your channel, dude. I think you just being so confident yet so like yeah mentally stunted. Yeah. Like if you just keep going up to smoking hot chicks and just having so little anxiety and being so adamant that they should buy you a keyboard yeah. and you keep getting their numbers, like people are gonna have to tune into that. A hundred percent. That was unbelievable at the beginning there. I that mean, did you, you didn't hot. text her. It's my life skill. Can we call her right? We're calling. Yeah, call her up right now. We're the we're calling her. You're not going to be able to get your phone. You left it at your sister's. How yeah. stoned are you? I'm he left it in a Takis wrapper accidentally and put it in the trash. And now yeah. it's like out at a landfill in Santa Monica and he has to go sift for it. It's unbelievable. I know that what's going to happen uh, one day is that Dino's going to be like, Leo, you're right. It's going to be like 30 year old Dino and I'm like 50 and he's going to be like, you're right. I uh, I gave up all that pussy by for smoking shitty weed that I was growing at my parents' house for absolutely there was no good reason for me to give up all that pussy god damn it i'm like yeah yeah yeah, yeah i've been telling you retic i know you're a taken man you're very happy with our rpp beloved rpp 
Um, but yeah. Dino, the women love him. He's got a very big penis. He would have won that contest, or he would have tied with Iggy that we did the in penis Indiana. measuring contest. He would have won or tied, and. Well, he picks up women like you saw in that video. Yeah, pretty easy. And he refuses to capitalize on that. Some people I've heard that referred to as slapping God in the face. Yeah. Would you agree with that? Yeah, he's got a skill, that's for sure. Would Do you think he should be capitalizing on his skill, though, and making love to these women? I definitely think he should make love to that Chinese woman. Are you still with the other girl, Dino? You want to go grab a microphone? Hand me that guitar over there. <laughs> Mike's on the side of the couch there. Let's do, uh, remember, you know, the song that everyone knows. Yeah. Beautiful. Good old Under the Bridge. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Dino, do a little soft rap that to Red Hot Chili Pepper. You're an asshole. Dino's a guy who is homophobic. His dick is big, but his bank account's small. He picks up on Asians inside of a Target. He gets their phone number, but won't have sex with them. Hit it, Dino. You're the chorus. I got the one more verse. All right, good. His vocabulary is limited to two words. You're based or you're gay, and that's all there is. He calls up his girlfriend and mocks her with me and Leo D'Otavio, who wants Dino to get a job. All right, you're the chorus, Dino. I fucked fuck the chord. <laughs> Here we go again. All right, do it again. Ready again. And he's a litter bug. Danny sucks a tranny's dick. Oh. With a guy with Adam 22. <laughs> and he got shot by Mia. But she's a lizard person. Sandrine, <laughs> she's a witch. And Danny hits it on the side. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ratchet, uh, give me the final one. Ben Jerry's got a bigger cock yeah. than Rat Dick does have, uh, but not as big as Leo. Yeah. That is the biggest cock. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know the song. That's good. Yeah, That's yeah. Wee -wee. He puts it inside Jill. Nico's got a little wee wee. <laughs> Almost got raped by a guy named Phil. Nico's got a little wee wee. I know where to go from there. Nico needs to get tested. I think so too, man. That was pretty fucked up. You guys heard that shit, man? I mean, that 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 was really. If Nico hadn't come home for another hour or something, me and Danny's plan was to just go out into the open and look for him, which would have been kind of scary. Yeah, it sounded to me after listening to it a few times that <clears throat> the guy was like trying to help Nico get back. And because he had drugs on him, he was like, Nico, if the cops pull us over because you're so drunk, just say that we're gay lovers and that I'm taking you home. That's exactly what he said. But the way he said it yeah. in that creepy ass tone. Right. Well, let's be honest. Yeah, the yeah. best excuse in that situation would be, oh, hi, officer. I'm a bartender at the local bar. I'm dead sober. You can check my credentials. I'm walking a very drunk patron back to his hotel yeah. because he's disoriented. That's a much sturdier excuse than mm -hmm. we're gay lovers, officer. Did he mm -hmm. say he was a bartender and not just he like a random dude? I, got, I have a theory a for, okay, I have that a was... theory the guy was like making a TikTok. Maybe he was selfie camming it and he's like, hey, repeat after me. And he's like <laughs> pointing at, D at Nico on the ground like, we're gay lovers. And he's like laughing and sending it to his friends, which I totally, that's hilarious. <laughs> but I hope that that was the case. But otherwise, I think it might have been like, 
he was going to rape Nico and he just couldn't figure out how to. Because mm-hmm. he was too fucked up. He was to too fucked raped. up. He didn't go to the alley. He wasn't following directions, yeah, clearly. He, he wasn't. He didn't Nico. even remember him. So clearly Nico probably, he did say at the beginning, that wasn't on the video because we weren't rolling yet, but Nico was like, this guy's a nice guy. Remember that? He was like, this guy's nice. And we're like, yeah. what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. And he was he's with nice. somebody. He gave him a reach around. That's why he's nice. Maybe, dude. Uh, Leo, uh, I think it's time we talk a little bit about our bet we had going on in the car yesterday. Oh, my God. God, you know, it just is something we got to share with the audience because <laughs> I mean, it was one of those things at first that we d- we weren't eager to bring up on camera, mm-hmm. but I think we can tweak it in a way that it'll be fine. Like, All right. so Leo and I, I mean, we're driving back from Palo Alto. Mm-hmm. We got we got a too late of a start, right? Dick, I'm glad you're taking this very seriously. Look at his posture over there. I know, He's I so red. attentive. Right, I gotta, gotta listen, if he was wearing a suit and tie right now, oh my right. god, oh my god, right. dude, you're getting a promotion, buddy, yeah, over there. Right now. We're too late leaving to make it home to watch the 49ers versus the Eagles game, NFC Championship, right, Dick? Yeah, we're too late leaving to watch that on television, so we got to listen to it on the radio. And Leo and I say to each other, you know, like because we gambled once that the loser of picking a game, Chargers versus Jaguars, had to go into In-N-Out and announce they had a tiny Mm wee-wee. We're like, this time, what's up the ante? Loser has to go show their dick to a bum. (laughs) Show their dick. (laughs) It didn't happen. Nobody did it. Nobody did it. You know what I mean? But, you know, who won the bet, Leo? Well, I won the bet. So Danny Mullen, uh, he owes me a mulligan at some point. You know what I mean? Um, We'll get consent from the bum. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Bum. If we get, it won't we be hard. Consent from the bum, it will yeah. not be hard to get a cons- to get consent from a male and bum. Does it also, if their dick's already out, that that's consent for you to right? Yeah. yeah. You know how many dicks I've seen on fucking in on Melrose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could just probably. I mean, if what, you find a dick out there, then it's open season for oh, you. Oh, absolutely. With your thing out. Absolutely, dude. So we get consent from a bum, and we'll show them. You you have to show them yeah, your dick. Yeah. What you're saying is like just because smoking is banned on the beach. If I light up a cigarette, you can't have a cigarette dangling out of your mouth when you come over and warn me to not smoke. Exactly. I mean, the, the the bum, if I flash my cock at a naked bum and he's got an issue with it, I'll be like, you hypocrite amongst hypocrites. Man, your fucking cock was out. Your cock is out, dude. Man, in fact, I probably we could probably find this one guy that does it. Um, he flashes his cock. Uh, oh, nice. Oh, yeah. is that the uh, is that the West Johnson. Hollywood yeah. the waiver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the no. West Hollywood wa- a waiver, dude. That's no. him. That's him? He just waves his dick around, yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, they, they he has a nickname. The guy, uh, a guy at my, a comedy show that I do told me about this guy. They call him Dingling Johnson. Okay. And he has a gigantic nine-inch limp cock. Black and he, guy? Yeah. Okay. And he Homeless. Whips, yes. And okay. he will, he's very attractive, too, they said. And he, women are like, damn, dude, like, Loki might, he, he said that women at his coffee shop <laughs> Said that they would bang Dingling Johnson. This guy's a waste, bro. We could get him on a wait, 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 wait. So uh, the guy you know who's a barista? No, he's not. He owns a coffee shop. He overheard women see an insane bum run up to the window, totally naked, go, hey, check out this shit, yeah, and then run off into the horizon. Said they might bang him. He's ripped, and he's like six fucking five, apparently. And were these chicks hot who said they'd bang him? (laughs) Yeah. Dude, that is... It's wild. That is so upsetting. We need to get this guy at OnlyFans or some shit. We need... Yeah, we need to subdue Dingaling Johnson. Yeah, and get him... Yeah, so he knows where he hangs out. I'll hit the guy... I'm going to see him uh, this Thursday. I'll hit the guy up and I'll ask him where he is. Uh-huh. He'll tell me. He he said that me and you should do a video. He watches our shit and was... He was Ding-a-ling so adamant. does? Yeah, no, not no. The guy that owns <laughs> the coffee shop. I would, dude, if Dingling watched that our shit, that would be amazing. <laughs> be amazing. But no, he told me that he thinks that we should make a video with this guy. One hundred percent, we should if we could find him. Yeah, it'd be great. He told me it'd be a locations. lot of blurring, a lot of blurring. Yeah, Ratic, do would you a guy like Dingling Johnson would or do, would you show your penis to a bum? I guess that's what I'm asking. Yeah, for, I'd pull out the ratchet for anybody. Just, Hell yeah! But dude. you know, I, I like this old dingling guy. But I, I saw a bum Big cruising. Yeah, yeah, you know, I saw a bum cruising on a bike. We could make this happen today. You know, oh, you was, like, I thought. So I thought it was some guy. I was like, I was pulling. He's like, hey, I thought it was Nico. I was like, Nico. I looked down for a second. It wasn't Nico. <laughs> so would you? you <laughs> if we just flashed him. Just yeah, flash a little flash. Ratchet. So <laughs> much, much like Achilles when he was when he was uh, in the army, he would have a, somebody that would test his food. Right? Would mm-hmm. you be willing to take? the fall for Danny and show your dick to a bum? 
Yeah. Because yeah. you lost the bet? You know, I yeah. mean, it's just yeah, like, yeah, dude, yeah. I wasn't counting on Purdy injuring his elbow, man. Right. It's like, come on, dude. You got to do me a little solid here, Ready? The dude, yeah. a guy on stage said that I'll he's show, show my 100% Let's sure that they made that happen. Vegas, like, paid, like, for him to get, like, hurt or some shit. They made that happen. So that for, for the fucking odds or some shit. Is that possible? I don't know, man. It I, seems iffy, dude. There's a lot of suspicions that shit was rigged this weekend. I don't really buy it. I feel like the two teams that lost would have been bigger draws. I yeah. could be incorrect on that, but I feel like Joe Burrow is a more... He's single, and I feel like he's better looking. So than they Patrick robbed Holmes. him completely, huh? I wouldn't say that. There were a couple questionable calls, but also the receiving core was like decimated for the Chiefs, and Patrick Mahomes was limping the entire game, and they still couldn't beat him. Damn. Like he couldn't escape the pocket. He was fumbling balls because of that. He was getting tackled. So like they en enough was working against the Chiefs. There were issues with the Bengals too. Their O line was really messed up, and it was showing. Mm. But I don't. Th I didn't feel like it was rigged, and I was rooting for the Bengals. Mm. But the Bengals have a sexier quarterback, so yep. it doesn't make sense that the league wouldn't want them to win. I think there would be better viewership. And the 49ers, it's close, but I think they're a bigger brand than the Eagles. The 49ers are a huge brand, yeah. so I can't imagine. I can't imagine the NFL trying to sabotage them. Mm. I mean, it'd be well, one thing if it was like Jacksonville versus. Well, the look, Eagles. when I was in high school, everybody would talk about. All my friends would always talk about how the N NBA was rigged. And I was like, whatever, dude. No, and then th it sure enough, the refs, there was a huge scandal years later where they discovered that, yes, dude. Sacramento they were, Kings. Yeah, they were working with multiple, I don't know, there was, a, there was a big thing. But yes, they were working with, the refs were creating points for the wh whoever needed to win. It, dude, it was the Lakers know? versus the Sacramento Kings. Yeah. That was the, the shining example of the fixed game. Right. And it sucked for me as a little kid from Sacramento who loved the Kings. Mm -hmm. I would be there... I was probably courtside for that game, not courtside. I I was I had season tickets, but they were like higher level season Did tickets. You really? Yeah, my dad had them, bought them for me. Wow. Because I mean, there's nothing to do in Sacramento. It was a big deal. We had a we had an insanely team, competitive yeah. favored to win the championship team, and I'm there, a little kid with a foam finger, like go, Chris Webber, go, yeah, Peja Stojakovic for three, yeah, and these mobbed up refs are like, oh, I'm gonna call three in the key on this motherfucker. Mm. Oh, it looks like a double dribble to me. And meanwhile, my fourth grade. Yeah, go, come on, Vladdy. Skyhook, Vladdy. My little dreams are just, Vladdy be, my heart is being crushed. Yeah. So that your Los Angeles Lakers, which are like the, the, the patriots of the basketball yeah, world. Yeah, they are. Dude, it was fucking bullshit, Dino. What do you think, Raddy? Yeah, bro, I, I agree, bro. I agree, bro. You just sure. sound like a sore loser, honestly. Like, oh, the yeah. winners win and the losers lose, and uh -huh. you just got to get the fuck over okay, it. Okay, the, wow. the winners are like a couple du got princes from Dubai who put a billion dollars on the game to mob the refs up. Well, what color is your Bugatti, man? I'm Damn. A, you know what? Shit. F you, Dino. I can't talk shit to you now that you picked up on this Asian shit. <laughs> right, Dick? Why is Austin outside right now? I don't know. He's probably... Picking up, I think he ordered McDonald's. I think the homeless bum. McDonald's bumped. every day. I think Flash and the Bum thing like took over. He really oh. wanted to go do that. Hey, so really Dino, Flash Dino, Dino, as I know, Mudflap just started reading the Bible. Actually, I, I read the Bible a little bit too. I got it on my bedstand. As a uh, the most ardent Christian here, where does showing a bum your penis rank in terms of sin? Um. Like pretty good, man. It's not that bad of a sin, or it's a pretty serious one. You know, it's pretty good. Be serious. It's like up there. It's around. a pretty bad sin. Who's I that? mean, Mopey. Actually, if you think What's about up, it, Mopey. What's up, dude? You, look, Mopes, dude? you look so Russian right now, dude. He's wearing a. He looks like a machine gunner in 1942, crouched down in a snowy trench. God, he, he it, didn't think he would make it for the pod, but he just came over to chill. But we just happened to still be recording. Are you guys gonna smoke weed? Yeah. Mopey, you smoking? You gotta take a fat dab, a rat dick dab. Oh, you gotta take a rat dick dab. You still smoking, no, Moby? Yeah, are you guys finishing up the podcast? Yeah, we are. Get on the couch. Fuck it, dude. But Moses, like, was sleeping naked, and one of his sons walked in. So and bad. then when he found out, bro, he cursed that son's, like, lineage forever. Pretty sure. Moby. Like, you can't be showing your, like, yeah, that dick old, shit's gay, Testament bro. The Old Testament also says you have to cut a goat's throat May 2nd and leave it at the doorstep and put palm fronds in its asshole. The Old Testament people that shit get was damned awesome. to hell for the most ridiculous stuff. Yeah, but, like, showing your dick's gay. That's the moral of the story. All right, well, we'll show Jesus. it to a female, but Moby, talk to me, buddy. How you been? 
dude, it's been like two years. Right? I know, man. At what least. are you been up to? Went through YouTube a little bit more, got burnt out, and now yeah. I'm just trying to just figure it out. You said I look rugged right now? I know. I said you looked uh, Russian. Oh, Russian. 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 Oh, the hat. The hat. Exactly. Yeah, 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 you took that yeah. as an insult, dude. Yeah. So you, you don't need to take that as an insult. It was purely based on the hat. So you, you oh, don't want to do YouTube ever again. Oh, I'll definitely do it again, but just like, I don't want to be 30 making videos. Why? Hey, we're, I'm like, 36. <laughs> oh. Me, me, I've been doing it since I was 16. Well, I don't want to be doing it for 15 years. Why? You know? Because that's not, I, I thought I'm already getting burnt out after six. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. It's not for me. I don't think. I get it. I get okay. It. So Mopey, you're, you, when's the last time you uploaded a video? Like four months, five months. It four was months. just like Fortnite. Yeah. You would have torn it apart. Oh my God. I feel would've... bad for tearing apart <laughs> your videos. I hope no. I had no hand in you deciding to put YouTube down. Were you, what, how much money were you making at the peak of your YouTube thing? <sighs> Definitely over a hundred K. A month or a year? A uh, year. I okay. wish a month. No, I wasn't. Well, There's was a lot of people who make that yeah. much money, and you were a pretty big channel. Yeah, and you I were. blew it all in the past two years. Did you blow it all? Yeah. How much money do you have now? Well, not not blow, compared to how much I had saved. Went through a lot of it. How much money do you have? Saved right. up right now? Yeah. Forty. That's not bad. Thousand? Yeah. Well, that's not how terrible. old are you? Twenty-three. Yeah, that's fantastic for your age group. Yeah. Right, I mean, how much probably do you have could have had way more, but that's okay. That's what I mean. Oh. Do you have forty thousand, right? No, I'm kind of. I, I'm broke right now. Yeah. Mopey, you can commend yourself for having more money than Ratic. Yeah. And Mopey <laughs> knows who you are, Ratic. He's a, he's a fan of the channel. Yeah. Do you remember the ba- the baseball game years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember tackling me? Into the mic. Was that you that I tackled? Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you tackled me uh, years ago. It was so yeah. funny. Legendary Ratic moment. Yeah. They get history. So, Mopey, that's cool, man. That's really a, drunk, though, Dude, that's... <laughs> most people your age don't have anywhere near that kind Not of money. Not even close. So you should, that's a lot of money yeah. to have saved oh, up. I'm good. Just, and that's that's good. That'll give you... I feel like the, maybe the best thing about having a little bit of money saved is you don't have to jump into your next job just because you have an offering. Yeah. Like, you could take your time, figure stuff out, know you got a little cushion. That's what I'm doing right now. But you great. Ha- you have a 9 yeah. to 5, though? Or? Yeah, I'm working at a storage facility. It's the best. Really? Dude, I do 30 minutes of work, get paid for seven and a half hours. No joke. Really? Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of jobs out there which yeah. that are like that, which mm-hmm. means, which really upsets me that guys like, that we know, that have such a, a like, a, they just, they have like a phobia of jobs, because there's a lot of really easy jobs out there, you know what I mean? We, we've been talking about it. <coughs> Leo, Leo, that's sort of motivational of you, but sort of it's like, sort of not, get, yeah. go out and get a job, be some like David Goggins, know, like, yeah. wake up at 5 a.m., get a job where you work for 15 minutes and get paid for eight hours, <laughs> you can smoke well, see, weed see, much see, more. I guess I have, a, I have a unique perspective, because when I was selling the copiers, I would go to just random businesses all day and I would see and then, then when if somebody was interested in a copier, I would kind of get to know what they were doing. And there were so many businesses where people did not work. Pretty much every business, two or three people ran everything and, and most of the employees worked fucking half an hour a day. And it was and whatever you're getting a paycheck, you know, put it back into the system and make some other people money. It, it all works out in the end. Yeah, you're right. But that's actually a very sophisticated understanding of economics. You're right. It is, it is how yeah. it, it is kind of how it works. Yeah. But the, the point of what I'm trying to make is if you really think that all the jobs you've had suck, keep searching. You can you're going to find a job that's you might like. For example, I really did enjoy selling copiers. It was I had so much free time. I had to maybe work ten to fifteen hours a week, but I, after that, I had all my free time to do whatever. And I was on salary, and it was commission. It was it was an easy, great job. I could have done it forever if I wasn't fucking such a jerk off that wanted to, I don't know, maximize my potential to get as much pussy as possible, and <laughs> um, you know, continue trying to fucking get into a flow state on stage and all this bullshit, but <laughs> either way. I'm sure your manager at Canon Copiers would have understood. I think so. Mopey, so you're working 15 hours, 15 minutes a day. Mm-hmm. And you ever get how, recognized? How does that work? Uh, so I do still get recognized wow. very infrequently, but I don't I don't miss it at all. Like I think it's very cool when it happens maybe like a couple times a year, if that. Sure. I think it's super cool that it even happens at all. Yeah, but mm-hmm. at the storage facility, what do I do for those like seven hours? Yeah. Or? I actually work on other stuff. Like I've been getting into like 3D modeling and 3D printing. So I'd like model something, go home and then print it out. And Scope. I'm just like, yeah, pursuing other stuff while getting paid for it, basically. How's the storage facility pussy versus the YouTube pussy? <laughs> Dude, it's pretty bad. I, I go to a like one out in Chatsworth and it's a lot of. 
lot of sketchy people. Yeah. Saw some drug deals, crackheads. Damn. Did Ratte come by to pick up a lap? No, I didn't see him, but <laughs> it's his <laughs> crowd. <laughs> it's his crowd. <laughs> Moby, so, okay, so, I mean, the good Sorry, thing Ratty. the good thing about where you're at, 23, if I can give you some older brother advice, dude, you are you got a long time to fuck around. In fact, I like what you're doing because you're becoming more of a renaissance man as we speak. Getting yeah. this life experience. Yeah, I mean, he's got the space. Russian hat on. Yeah, yeah look at him. That's very, Fuck like, traveled, very uh, yeah. cosmopolitan. Getting the fucking, getting this, like, look, you're you're working in a storage facility. You're going to meet some random people. Guess what? Mm. That's going to help you grow as a human being because you're just interacting with people that you might have never interacted with if you were just sitting at home smoking weed all day and, and uh, not jerking off the porn because you're oddly <laughs> religious, but at the same time, are you, you no. are <laughs> slightly racist. Like, Dino, you Porn's know what I'm saying? Gay, man. It's sure. cooking. <clears throat> yeah, he doesn't like porn at all. But hmm. but but you're really young, bro. You you got a lot of time to do and figure out things and 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 you you might miss the YouTube thing one day. You were quite good at it. Thank I mean, you. if you just stream on your channel now, how many views would would it get? It would probably just be a few thousand compared to like the million subs that I got. You so. know what Austin and Dino would do for a few thousand fucking viewers Dirty on the stream? They would Dirty. suck so much fucking cock. Oh yeah, especially <laughs> you, you have can, no you can idea. make like 500 an hour. See this dude, views. see see that you can make 500 an hour streaming. Um look, I bet you could if you wanted to. Uh, Mopey, um, now that you are out of the public eye, do you feel like you can get way gnarlier in your sexual encounters because the <laughs> Me Too risk is down? <laughs> no, no, because... No. What if he's just an animal now, <laughs> dude. dude? No, because... Uh, is it nice to know that like you can't be canceled anymore? Oh, I could totally be canceled still. No, you couldn't. I, I mean... When you're working at a storage facility, you can't be canceled <laughs> unless you commit yeah. a felony. The yeah, that's, that's true. Okay, so I was a, a, a scumbag in college and shit, and and like the the only time that any of the, of the shit that I ever did, people even think about it because I didn't do anything illegal. As my uh, good friend Armin was, like, was when I got some fame, you know what I mean? People were like, "Oh, who is this guy?" Like I even had a girl hit me up just because the uh, the Little Caesars commercial. She was like, "Oh, remember when we'd sexed in college?" Like she she's like, "Oh, I just thought about you. We used to sext in college." Uh -huh. like, yeah, what happened after bitch. that? I, I'm sure you were just like, "Oh yeah, I'm, I'm a different guy now." <laughs> I said, uh, uh, "Why don't you just send me one of those old pictures, baby?" <laughs> nah, yeah. But I'm what, actually gonna have to see that. picture And I was just like, leave. "What the fuck, dude?" No, she looks absolutely terrible. She uh, really aged very badly. Well, yeah. she's probably gonna see she's this. Thirty six. She might see <laughs> this. Might see this. <laughs> yeah, she might see this. She aged terribly. Dude, uh, thirty six is like th so that's if for man me. or woman that you knew in high school. Or college, dude. That is thirty six. Is fucking. If you're playing the odds, they're not looking pretty at that age. Mm, yeah, I mean, that's unless I mean, they're Leo Dottavio. Unless you're fucking probably now. Men can age differently, but women can too, dude. You just gotta. You gotta get into. I mean, those Pilates. The girls that I know that ended up like getting a habit of like, I love to go to Pilates six days a week. They're still fucking hot at thirty six, and they'll continue to be hot. It's just a, a work. I think it, having that that workout habit is a little bit less. Um, common in the in the girl world, but no, I was I played a professional and like I you know like oh yeah haha we used to sex that's crazy all right well have a nice day Miriam you know uh -huh. and, uh, yeah, and yeah, goodbye yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. can I uh, can I translate what that means to the audience <laughs> what that actually means uh, Leo went lol that's so crazy I just had a dream about you the other night <laughs> winky face I, I you know this is uh, I, I I just it's all coming back to me now mm -hmm. your beautiful lips and eyes. I want to see them and more dot, 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 winky face. Yeah, that's right. The, the old dream line, if you guys, I mean, I've, I used to have this whole video up on my Patreon. It was one of my most popular videos uh, on my Patreon. It was just about how to start sexting a woman. And if you really, if you're kind of in a friend group, maybe you made out with this chick one time and now you guys are like friends or whatever, throw her the line, I had a dream about you one night. And then, uh, and then tell her like you don't want to tell her because it's embarrassing. Blah blah blah. She's gonna be like, I really want to know. And then you drop. It's worked I for was, me. I tried it once. Hell yeah, Leo, awesome yeah. did it. And then you go, you know, you work in whatever you want. I I was uh, fucking your doggy style. I came on your face. Oh my god, crazy. Ratic. I don't know. I just want should, to we, should we make him do an I had a dream to rat pussy Pam right now? Oh, dude, you want to hit her with? You want to hit her with that? You want to have some steamy sex tonight? Uh, I don't know. Just text her and be like, babe, it's crazy. I had an insanely hot dream about you last night. And then <laughs> send hard eyes. Yeah. She might let you do anal if you send her that. No, 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 no. I, I don't want my foot on me anyways. Lift in the car. Damn. Would yeah. you be psyched to, you know, sodomize rat pussy tonight, though? That's probably going to happen. Well, Fuck pretty, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be pretty dope. Yeah. You're going to go yeah. straight up the ass? Oh, yeah. You Hopefully. fuck every night? I, I try, yeah. Fuck <laughs> nice. yeah, rat yeah, yeah. Do you jerk off at all? 
No, I don't. I don't jerk off that much. It happens. So uh, that's maybe I should start taking dabs, dude. Because when I'm at home working on my computer, that's my fat dab. As I blow a fat load all over my belly. Oh, some porn star <laughs> and on your fucking belly yeah, on my belly well. I don't even clean it up I just accumulate all day oh, and the God. problem is then by the time like my girlfriend gets home sometimes I'm like I'm jizzed out and I gotta save it like rat dick so I can just be fucking every night like a right. shit man you yeah, don't, you don't fuck me every night you, you not every night I don't think any dude, I've never heard of a guy who's been in yeah, a long term yeah, relationship like after every three night. years oh, yeah. bro that yeah fucking every night's yeah, wild I mean I'm pretty high when I was with my ex uh, towards year three, it was still like five days a week, but it, I mean, you know, there was definitely days where you couldn't, you couldn't just do it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But you were, I mean, you, you scotch taped your, in, your phone with Instagram open to her spine. <laughs> so you were just looking at some fucking <laughs> scotch 18 year old girl who lives oh, in Chatsworth, God. dude. Moby, uh, um, so you, you're sure you're done with YouTube? For now. Yeah. I'd only come back to it when I just want to do it for straight fun. Are you happy? Oh yeah, dude. And I was going to even say this earlier, like, talking about, like, the money stuff and working at the storage facility. I don't know how this happened, but coming from, like, millions of subscribers, huge-ass group, knocked all the way down to scooping up rat poop in a storage facility and, like, just not, like, as much money saved up, 40K, a lot, very thankful for that. Mm-hmm. But, no, I'm, I'm really good. I'm very optimistic about the years that I have to come. I really fucked up a couple years, like, previously, mm-hmm. but I'm really optimistic for these years to come. Dope, What'd you bro. fuck up? My money, getting back into like drinking and smoking too much. While I still do those things a little bit, I just had no control by myself. Mm-hmm. Like, were you fucking a lot of chicks? No, <laughs> mm-hmm. I was just like, I was, dude, I was getting in a hole of just being by myself, drinking and smoking, as dumb as it sounds. Yeah, I don't get it. It's out like in out drink. In you might as well use it to chase a puss, right, Leo? It's pretty easy. I would have thought all the Fortnite videos would have gotten pussy, because they got me pussy in that video. I know, man. With Mopi, you were doing what? it right. You got pussy from Fortnite videos? Yeah, dude. Just right there. Watch this. Show them real quick. We'll end on oh, this. Oh, you need the headphones. What's up, boys? We yeah, watch this, party. dude. Excuse me? This could have been you. Pause it real quick, Aussie. Hey, this is how you get pussy from Fortnite. Did you, did you link watch up this. with her, bro? No, I never hit her up. Oh, oh, okay. Here at Target. Excuse me? Y'all trying to buy me this? I'm trying to get some dubs in Fortnite. I could get, like, two skins with this. Me either. That's how I'm trying to get some Fortnite. I, mean, I would if I could. Oh, yeah? This actually works, yeah. Watch this, dude. Can I get your number? Maybe you can buy me some later when you get a job because you're broke. Um, maybe. What's your number? She's so nervous, dude. Okay. It's a sign of submission when a girl looks down like that. Dino, you're a pimp. You play I know my body language. <laughs> you got her laughing? Okay. Look at that girl. Oh, Mopey, you would fucking... Thanks for buying me Fortnite. You would advance. sell half the storage facilities in your place's stuff to get a girl like that just for one night, dude. Dude, I don't care about selling stuff. I, 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 t- I take passion in doing as least amount of work as possible <laughs> and working on extra <laughs> other, other stuff. That's how you do it. So yeah. you, get, you get that money income coming in while you're growing your side gig exactly. that then one day becomes your main gig. Yeah, fuck, fuck the, Everybody's got to be doing it. Fuck it for now. I don't care about making the money. I mean, yeah. I'm just, 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 yeah, just cruising. It's just to survive, right? Yeah. That's good, man. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what you're going to do with your life. What about you guys? How have you been the past two years? I'm fucking bossing it out. Haven't you seen? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, don't, I haven't watched too much recently, but when I skimmed the channel, it seems like it's been going really well. Oh, Thanks, f- man. Fucking Appreciate damn right, buddy. Yeah. We're trying to get, you know, we're trying to keep it... Uh, uh, you know, exciting and doing a lot of the wild videos. I mean, we just did a fucking wild couple of videos. Um, and we uh, we try to grow as human beings and, you know. And make Mudflap grow. He's the newest guy to grow. What's any, up? any fun cancellations in, over yeah, the past? So you, 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 the fat rant thing? You saw that? Uh, or no? Oh, I did hear about that, actually. Yeah, That's yeah. so funny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was a good one. No. Uh, <laughs> fat chicks really one. got mad at us. My, yeah. my new thing, uh, well, th- th- I feel like my new cancellations, I got a little bit, like, very, like, the lightest cancellation ever for something that happened to me on a No Jumper podcast. Mm-hmm. Huh. But, I mean, most people already know about it. We we had a, a transgendered woman on a podcast I do with Adam22 from No Jumper. Mm-hmm. The reason she was on the podcast is because she like tried to get Adam to suck her dick at an AVN award ceremony in Vegas. Well, she comes on and mentions that she had sex, transgendered sex with a straight man who worked at no jumper. Yeah. And she outed him. 
She outed yeah. him and then continued every and then continued to bring it up and talk about it for probably like a total of twenty minutes as far as like recording time. Not all consecutively, but various yeah. spots throughout the podcast. And we after like I mean everybody talked about it. I talked about it, Adam, everybody talked about it. But we decided right after that that we were gonna completely scrub that from the podcast because it was deduced that this was I thought it was something that people knew about because I it just she was so nonchalant with outing this. I thought it was like, OK, it's not a big deal. He People know about it. He doesn't care. So but like once I found out that this was not known, like Adam and I were like, yeah, we're going to cut that out. We're not going to out somebody for doing something like this. And then the editors, as they sometimes do <laughs> over there, at no jumper. They left in one mention of it, and it's me, and I sound like a fucking asshole. asshole yeah, you really did. Sound I sound like, an like such an asshole. And it's Way like, to go, man! And it just and there's no context. There's like not her, the Gracie Jane chick, just talking about it for twenty minutes. It's just me, and it was like, I mean, it was not my place to be cracking jokes about, it, and I apologized for it, but. Um, yeah, it was kind of an unfortunate situation. Dude, what is up with your luck in the editors? You got your dick hanging out? I know, dude. Oh, not, I got to check that, that out, though. That's so, what's that? Or oh, the dick? You can check that out? Oh, you can check I, that out after the show. No, I haven't <laughs> seen that. I'm good on that one, but I want to <laughs> no, see. Uh, who said it's going to be willing? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty wild, dude. Yeah, yeah, you and No Jumper. I mean, uh, your crew was like f- f- about basketball, but it was mostly for kids, right? Or younger. It was a younger audience. Yeah. How are they doing? How's that the channel going? They're doing that? really well still. Yeah. yeah. Where do you ever get like crazy and like invite a 12 year old girl over to the mansion and be like hey you no. want Netflix and chill <laughs> no Christ. no we didn't <laughs> we weren't any of that no oh, I don't know I mean, it's, that that's was a like, joke that's it's like, just late in the podcast that's dude. like the it's other Jesus There's, Danny dude yeah it was a Jesus Danny it's been a while Leo. it's been a while it's dude. been a long God, time since <laughs> Jesus Danny holy Fuck, dude, dude is it 2021 I, that might I even know. be 2020 staple yeah I think it's a 2020 staple yeah Jesus uh, Danny is, uh, yeah, I remember that remember those yeah, I remember that well, this is beautiful. This is like uh, this is making me emotional. We got Rat Dick, a, a, a stable of the channel. We got one of our early pods and and really big supporters, Mopey, which it made me feel good when he came to that game. And it was such a big YouTuber, and he was such a big fan of ours. And I was like, that's awesome, you know. Dude. And of course, Dino is our project, and we're working on him as we speak. Yeah, you're just scared of my power. Really, they're just suppressing me. But no, my we're final not. form is soon working to come. Working on Dino is just grooming. When are you gonna fucking stop <laughs> grooming? When are you gonna build the space station? As soon as I get my hands on the power source, hmm. I need some chaos emeralds. What chaos emeralds? Yeah. You probably need like fucking. It's probably plutonium you need, which you're never gonna get. It's too valuable. I have too. my sources. I have ways. You get some plutonium. If anybody finds plutonium, you're uh, immediately a billionaire. Did, so. did you even shave before you picked up that Asian girl? No. You just came at her like that yeah. in those old moldy yeah. shoes. I definitely went into water with those and then just like didn't even dry them out. These are my best pair of shoes. Actually, no. Those, for Christmas, I got some new ones. But those were, were those on these Amazon. Were my like favorite pair of shoes. They were they were sub twenty dollars shoes that I got on Amazon that are old and moldy, and he wears them. Every day, <laughs> so you wear them every day, and you have been for over a year. It's right? not even your shoe size. It's, it's not even right. Every time people see them, they're like, "Oh, I love your shoes. Those things are sick." And I'm really? like, "Yeah, these are they're from Kanye." Kanye, they, that they do kind of <laughs> look like Yeezys, honestly, a little in a weird way. Wait, what's what's your shoe si- shoe size? Do you know? Uh, I honestly don't remember. But those, said, those aren't at least like ten or. He doesn't know his shoe Something. size. Those are 12. Leo, he doesn't know his shoe size. I know. He's, that's crazy. He's a 12? Dude. Maybe I'm a 12. No, you're not, bro. They, those are huge on you. They fit. Let me see. Right, I don't like that he's got bro, a bigger cock. Really <laughs> dude, he's fucking... He's got, he's, I got how big are they? They're too big, right? You're like, you're like a 10 and a half. Okay, okay. Dino, you really don't know what your fucking shoe size is, bro? That worries me, dog. This <laughs> shit is comfortable, bro. How does he not know I fucking know. shoe size, And he's bro? still got a huge dick, so we can't talk know. shit, dude. I'm going to get you some shoes, though, man. Ten and a half, then? Or yeah, 11? my dick was fitting these shoes. <laughs> you said 12, oh, right? Yeah, wears, Do you know how long is like your dick? 11. Why are you gay? With a hard cock, how long is it? Why are you asking about my cock? You, you, like, okay. you used to show it. Remember, you used to whip it out, dude. Yeah, it was a different time. Old days. You act like I did it willingly. You showed your asshole to a woman on this podcast. Once. Yeah, you did. And at that party <laughs> in Temecula, you fucking that was all okay, you. Okay, the party dude. Temecula. Yeah, but you, that's because there was a hot bitch there, and she looked at it. She did look at it. She did look at <laughs> it. Yeah, hot chick. She did. pretended like she wasn't looking at it. 
Oh, yeah, she checks, was looking checks at were it. looking. <laughs> All right, boys, it's been the Leo and Danny show. Yes, sir. Check out the Leo and uh, D- Danny show Patreon, where Leo and friends is. Last week, we had a good conversation with our good friend, King Croc. We'll have a really fun episode. Yeah, with check that Nico. out. King Croc yeah. back on that one. King Croc back on that one. It was pretty wild. And then uh, we'll have uh, Nico is going to be hosting this week, and it'll be a grand old time. We got fun, links guys. to everybody's socials and channels and stuff below. Below. See you guys. Thanks, Mo. Later, guys. Later.